My name is Chris. So what else do you need to know? Stuff about my family or where I'm from? None of that matters. Not once you cross the ocean and cut yourself loose. Looking for something more beautiful, something more exciting. And yes, I admit, something more dangerous. Um. So after 21 days at sea, six cases of top ramen, 52 beers, three bottles of rum, and no sleep, ah! I finally touched down in the Bahamas. Gateway to the Caribbean. And this is it. Paradise. Um, Sunsets and pina coladas. Gateway to the Lesser Antilles. Where sailboats and dreams come to die. Where nightmares come true. Um, where dreams become reality. So never refuse an invitation. Never resist the unfamiliar. Um, never failed to be polite. Um, and never outstay your welcome. Um, so buy the ticket. Take the ride. Uh, Carry away your sins to whatever it is that you call paradise. Uh, For me, I still believe in paradise. Okay. I just know it's not some place you can look for. Because it's not the destination that matters. Um. It's the journey how you felt for a moment in that journey Ladies and gentlemen, let me know that my sound is okay, and we'll get this party started. Cracking the beverage. All right, let me call Chris here. And uh, let's get going here. What's up, my man? Can you hear me? Yeah? Can you hear me? Your service is pretty. Can you hear me? What's up, man? Yeah, I won't have an echo in a second. Hold on. No, I won't have... Just give me a minute.
Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. I. Well. Testing, testing. Uh, let me see here. It should be good now. All right, Chris, say something real quick. Let's see your sound. Real quick. <laughs> Pulling into Pensacola. All right, I can hear you. Let's see if chat heard you. Then we'll get rolling. Yeah, so sounds good. Your service is a bit iffy, it appears. You're, yeah. A little choppy there. A little choppy. A little choppy. Let's see. Are you guys uh, heading closer to shore? Soon will be. Looks pretty out there. Ten degrees starboard. There's some dolphins and the what was? Very, very cool. Yeah, we can't, uh, we can't hear you. Like, I can hear you, but barely, because you don't have a microphone. So, I think, unless you're really close to the phone, maybe it's a little choppy. I can see land over there, I think. Well, you won't be able to see me, probably. That's okay. Everybody knows how handsome you are, man. Uh, you know, they've gotten used to it now. <laughs> true, true. So you, you must be pretty close to land. Well, uh, we are. Can you guys see buildings or anything over here? Yeah, I can see them. Yeah, where are you guys going to pull okay. in? Um, well, actually nowhere. No. Because local scuba flipped and never let them go, even if they don't have boats. Oh, where are you going to pick up uh, KB oh, yeah. at? Uh, um, it'll be, I'll just end up pulling up one of the field docks and pick him up whenever, whenever he's available. Oh, 
but it's kind of rough, actually. I've called it six or eight different places, and everyone said, no, absolutely not. And if they don't answer, then their voicemail says, we have no branding available. We have no full-time available. So That's a bummer. It's not a very welcoming uh, trans cast. They'll all sell you fuel, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, see. Yeah, if... absolutely. Fuel for you. Yeah, I'm gonna see if uh, <laughs> your sound is bad today for some reason. I don't know why. Um. Let me see if I can find you on AIS. Did uh, find the uh, sender receiver, and I'm pretty sure there's one that's locked down between a couple of solar panels, so it's directly being blocked from most directions of the other side. Oh, I found you. There you are. Oh, nice. There you are. Oh, you're getting close now, man. You're like on the home stretch. Yeah, so your sounds uh actually too bad to have a conversation with you. I can only hear like one about a very ten words that you say. Um Let's see. Maybe when you get closer to Pensacola, you'll have a little bit better. I don't know because your camera sound, your camera looks perfect. It's just your, I can't hear you for anything. No, the speakers. No. Huh? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Oh, that's, look, see what's this guy? That? This bird? That bird's yep. trying to hang out. What was he doing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, your sound seems See to be better. Bag, What'd you do? Um, okay. Unplug your speaker? Yeah, I had yeah. a Bluetooth speaker that would help me hear you, but it apparently was inhibiting the conversation there. Because <laughs> now I can hear you fantastic. You sound like uh, Frank Sinatra coming through. Hey, oh, I like that. <laughs> there you go, man. So, uh, so fill us well, in on, on your trip. You were saying you ran into some squalls, some rough weather, got a little hectic. You're, uh, right off the man, coast of it, Panama now. We, we ran into some squalls and, oh man, it was, it was, it was wild. <laughs> right after <laughs> we dropped Samuel off, we took off and, um, it, just general little green storms here and there that were kind of showing little squalls, nothing big. But as we got out there, uh, we were kind of surrounded by squalls, and so it was just kind of which one's going to hit it first. Uh, we played that game for about a day, and we went through several small ones. Uh, the next day, which was yesterday, uh, it was nonstop, man. Once once we get out of a, uh, a storm, we get right back into the next one within 15 to 30 minutes. Wow. They would all last somewhere between 30 minutes to an hour. And then five of those built up to the mother of them, apparently. <laughs> and for about eight hours, we were hunkered down, tired of battling the first ones. Neither one of us had slept, hardly at all, if any. And apparently, I didn't know how to access the weather bands right, because once I did, there was crystal clear weather reports of how we were getting 30 knot winds and water spouts and all vessels need to take shelter immediately, etc. <laughs> Did you? So we were in it, though, and uh, we rode it out. A uh, um, little bit of Genoa pulled out, probably about 40%. Kept us kind of steady and moving. As I think Father Tech was saying that we found stride again around Panama City, we had slowed down a lot, um, just bucking into this ridiculous wind that kept changing on us 
Oh. But we found it, and we got moving again. Now we're dealing with the fact that all of Pensacola is booked by locals. All, all the transient slips. And none of the dock masters are apparently very good at organizing that situation. Preventing slips from being just empty all the time. So you can't even, like, pull in but for the night? But they're paid for, so their Panama job City? is, I guess, quote-unquote, done. Wow. So you can't even, like, pull it's in for the night? Again. No? Hello? Hello? Yeah. I don't think Just trying to move forward here. Can you hear me Looks or like no? we're going to be looking for an anchorage and that's called it. Can you hear me? I don't think you can hear me. One of the harbors. Hmm. I don't think you can hear me. Still out there, buddy? Yeah, but something happened there. <laughs> I don't know what. I got nothing Let's try this from again. You. How about now? Cello! Could you hear me? Hear you. Yeah, like much better too. Yeah, I think that speaker thing you were trying was messing us up a bit. Uh, give me a second. Cool. Cole is looking, I don't know, populated at least from here. I'm trying to uh, through my 10 million technical difficulties here. This thing would just stay set up the way it's supposed to. Oh man, over and over. It's a repeat setting. So, ir so irritating. One of these days, man. We'll get there. One of these days. Got some character out here, stalled out in the water. What's the depth in here? Six to eight. Yeah, they're probably just screwing about. Turn down the VHF here. Jeez. Man. Stupid. My stupid app thingies would just stay the same every time. Super pumped. I can probably get his picture better. Better picture? Oh no, I'm just thinking out loud. Uh, I think we should be good as long as uh, chat can hear me. But my chat's not saying anything, so. That could be dangerous. I'll just be staring at the screen then. Because they yeah, cannot hear I don't you. know. That's what I'm asking them. They're, I'm getting like no feedback from chat. I'm just over here. Okay, yeah. Paul said yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There we go. They just need a little, uh, they need a little high five to get going. Okay, so go, it right? sounds good. Your you're picture's great. great. Things are good. Looks great out there. KB's in the chat. When's KB coming to meet you? Uh, tonight. Yeah. Or let's see. Tomorrow night. It'll be tomorrow night. Ooh. Friday night. Greg takes off Friday morning. So is it going to be just you and KB on the boat? Yeah, as, as of right now, it is. How uh, nervous are you about that? You're a little bit nervous? I don't know. It was me and Greg last night. We hit uh, among the worst that I'd imagine squalls turn into. Obviously, don't go out whenever you know that it's going to be a shit show. 
Did you see any water spots? Um, very... I don't know. Um, we, we saw the beginning of one. After that, it was too dark to see any of it. Yeah. Yeah. And then it just got progressively worse as it was uh, about 2 a.m. to... You know what is... I don't know, 2, two to 8 or so? You know what is so great about your trip? You are getting an absolutely priceless sailing education. By the time you make it home, you're going to be like, you'll be fine to <laughs> cruise to the Bahamas, <laughs> come down here, like wherever you want to go, man. You'll be pretty much fine. I'm about it. <laughs> you know? I'm about. What is this? Is this like radar? Pretty Wagon? excited for you. Thanks, dude. I'm super excited. I'd like to make something like Christmas happen down uh, Bahamas or down by you or something you like go. that. I mean, it's been, at least for me, I don't know about everybody else, but it's been great for me to, uh, to like, see you progress from a full-blown novice sailor to, oh, yeah. you know, you're progressing just live right on camera. Uh, <laughs> I'm running, certified running. green at the beginning of this. But yeah, from running aground right when you picked up the boat to now you're just cruising looking for a slip. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, if you guys look ahead on the bow there, I had to um, install a new bow light. Um, apparently our bow lights were just not operational. I don't know where the wiring comes from or goes to, but it had nothing to it no matter what switch got flipped. And so I tapped into the anchor light was connected to my V-Birth cabin and ran oh. some wire out from the bottom there and all the way up and I found a plate and attached it. It was a whole ordeal. Should have made a whole episode about it. I realized as I finished installing it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Travis wants to know what are your shifts looking like with just two of you? Four hour shifts or what are you doing? Um, we are at the helm as long as we can consciously do it during the day and then Nights where we were running about three hour. We we're just kind of tra trading off pretty loosely during the day. So how how have you been doing with sleep when you're doing these offshore passages? Do you find it hard for yourself to fall asleep? Are you getting good rest or is it just kind of spotty cat naps? Um... Oh, no, there's no good rest here. Well, <laughs> all right, so I, <laughs> I take that back. The good rest is the fact that I got rest. And so, yeah, yeah, it's really good when you get any. <laughs> well, yeah, and that's something yeah. I, I don't think a lot of novice sailors understand. It's, you know, you go offshore and you're the owner of a vessel and someone else is on watch. But for whatever reason, like getting good, solid rest is just next to impossible until you get years and years of experience. And even then, it's iffy at best. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely not, like, it was very conscious that I'm still on my boat, that I've got to be responsible <laughs> for certain things uh, the whole time. Yeah. And so, I mean, I had hour, um, every hour I've had an alarm set on my watch. And so then I keep my watch on and sleep basically over the top. And so it wakes me up and I jump up all startled and shit. And I check it out. Yeah. I check on Greg. <laughs> yeah. check everything out and once everything's fine again i go back to sleep for another 53 minutes or whatever well yeah and it's like that that never goes away i mean <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if you've been sitting for 10 years or five minutes uh All that right. whole sleep thing on a boat it's always just it's hard to go to sleep when you're at sea and you're the captain of the vessel that you're on and yeah i mean as you have experienced so many things can go wrong <laughs> It's hard to actually just disconnect and be like, that's it, I'm going to bed. <laughs> oh, no, even even whenever, like, Greg comes out and he's, he's slept some and he's ready to take watch, I mean, there's still a check down that I have to do just to mentally have any satisfaction. Yeah, it's hard. And if hard. I don't get that, the attempt for sleep is just shot, <laughs> as I've come to find out. Well, yeah, and, you know... Yeah. As you notice on these longer passages, uh, you know, you pray for that night where you can just pull into at least an anchorage, an anchor, <laughs> and be like, okay, 
maybe I can get some decent sleep tonight. Yeah, right, man. <laughs> Unless, uh, I mean, from, from Tampa to here, it's uh, at least 100 feet, if not 300. And yeah. you would just keep on riding. You're so far out of cell range that it's not even realistic to hope for it. Yeah. <laughs> What an adventure, though, man. How cool. Dude, it has been. Has it been? <laughs> I mean, this is your first time on a sailboat, basically, and your first time owning a boat. and First time offshore. Yeah. I mean, everything. So <laughs> have you thought about what you'd like to do once you get back to Galveston? Now, I know you said that you're going to be staying in Galveston for quite some time, I think. Or what do you... You gonna move on the boat full time? What are you thinking? Uh, um, so we've got a lease at a house um, just south of Galveston there, and it's up in about March. So after that, we're kind of, I guess I'd say on the wing, but I'm not doing pilot stuff anymore. <laughs> uh, more or less on the boat though. So are you gonna Unless try? We... You gonna try to transition to full time living on the boat? Um, we'll see how the girls like it, honestly. I'll take them on a few passages and a few trips, and we'll see how they like the uh, inverted life there. And kind of decide from there, honestly. Oh, do you have kids? Uh, I do. I have one little girl. She's 10 years old. Gotcha. Yep. An adventurous kid, too. She'll run out off in the mountains. See her a couple hours later. <laughs> run off with our big dog that we have, and... They come back dirty or messy or hands full of pine cones or whatever adventure they just went on. One of the people <laughs> watching says he lives in El Largo, El Lago, Texas. El Lago? Yeah, I don't know, um, but he said... up in the bay? I don't know where it's at. He said uh, he'll get you steak if you stop by. Sweet. I eat steak. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was saying. I was like, oh, that's very nice of him, man. Awesome. Thanks, dude. What's that? Yeah, yeah. What? Who was that that said that? Uh, I can't pronounce his name. Pavalevietor? Pavalevietor? Pavaletter? Pavaletter? Something like that. Ah, right on. Pavel. I think I might have seen it. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, we've called all the marinas that we can, and all of them gave us a recommendation for the next one. <laughs> um, yeah, and then some gave us recommendations to not call several others, too, because you'll just waste a phone call. It's like, oh, gee, thanks. Uh, so, yeah, there are apparently zero transient slips available around here. That's so wild, man. Transient slips are transient slips for a reason. That means you come and you leave. So the next guy yeah, can come, no. and then he leaves. They're not meant to be... You know, uh... apparently one of the issues is that after the previous year's hurricanes, nobody's rebuilt their transient docks. Uh -huh. So, city gave a directive that one or two places had to had to have transient docks, and so we could go to Harbor View Marina if I didn't draw six feet. Ah, oh. the old yeah, six foot draft got gotcha. you. Four and a half max. Yeah. Good old racing boat. So where is your final destination? Is it Galveston or Freeport or? Freeport. Freeport. About a day sail south of Galveston. Oh, okay. Southwest of Galveston. I see. <laughs> there are all sorts of places around there. So your plan's basically to, you're going to have a boat, not sure if you're going to live on board full time, go back home, have the boat there. Where are you going to put the boat? In a Anchorage or you got a slip or a mooring field or? Uh, there's one of two slips uh, that one or one or one of two marinas, I guess, that we're going to go to. Um, one is behind a big uh, hurricane guillotine. Mm -hmm. Very much a guillotine, um, I, and I didn't realize that. I thought that it was a uh, like a boat lift over the channel. Um, once I did more research and 
started buying a boat, uh, I came to realize that was a big guillotine, and that's a storm surge protector. So I do like the idea of that. Um, I also like the idea of the other one being really close to our house. So it's kind of uh, going to take there. Um, I mean, I could walk to the one that's near the house. That'd be cool. Uh, yeah, half mile maybe. Uh, the other one's it's only about six miles or so. Just go right up to ICW and kind of tucked away. Really there cool spot. Go. There you go. Uh, it's pretty industrial around there. Uh, the more you go up into the ICW, and kind of if you if you look around at the Freeport area, there's uh, Dow Industrial Chemical basically owns all of it, <laughs> the whole area. <laughs> <laughs> and if they don't own it, then it's a or several oil companies. That's cool, man. And so, then so uh, tomorrow night you'll pick up KB. KB's got a bunch of fishing gear, man. Sweet. Hopefully we do excited. some catching. Yeah, I'm pretty a lot less sure you're, fishing, a lot more catching. I'm pretty sure if KB's there, you'll be doing some catching. Right. He on. seems pretty hardcore about the fishing, so that'll be a blast. Uh, it. We'll have yeah, to do man, like bring a fishing all, stream, man. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Especially if we take ICW route. I'd like to go out, but I'm, I'm looking at the uh, both routes right now. Actually, evaluating. Based on storms that we didn't predict. So, stuff like that. Where would you pick up the ICW at? It looks like it goes in from Pensacola, that you don't even have to go out, and that you could cut right in, cut straight across Alabama, Louisiana, and into Galveston, basically. Mm, oh, I see. I see. I see. Well, if we could take that straight run, more or less straight run, um, I mean, how much time is wasted going through the ICW when I have to go 50 miles offshore to get around the deltas and drilling rigs? Because there are apparently hundreds of drilling rigs out there just off Texas, not to mention Louisiana and uh, Alabama. Hmm. Mm, decisions as a captain. Well, Captain, yeah, you what know, do you, these are what real do you think? Things. They are, man. What do you think there, Captain? You think... Uh... Uh, I think I like the straight run on ICW. Um, I also think that I like being offshore, especially if we're going to do some fishing. So... A lot of fishing in the bay, though, know. and stuff, too, man. You know. That's I know. we got good-sized bays around, especially Pensacola. Galveston's got two huge lakes, or three, I think, right there that feed... Um, into, into there, so I'm sure in between uh, with the deltas at the south part of uh, with Mississippi River there, that there's going to be a lot going on. So there'll be a lot of opportunity inside also. I mean, the, you know, yeah, that's all stuff you got to think. I'm looking on a oh. map right now. Uh, what'd you say? Pensacola? Yeah. What'd you say? Panama. Pensacola. Pensacola. They uh the route on Navionics whenever I auto routed from um Tampa or halfway through or whatever said that I should go to Panama City and take the ICW to Pensacola. You can which in hindsight, based on dockage, probably would have been a better idea. That would have been cool, man. So you're thinking maybe Pensacola, hop in there and then Make your way over, I guess. I'm just I'm looking on a map. A lot of jellyfish out here right now. Is there? Start spot right after the storm. Dolphins. Uh, the water was so clear, I could see dolphins five or six feet down, full bodied and everything, from standing on the deck. That's cool. Yeah, I mean that. Uh... I don't know, man. Decisions. 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 I'll have at least 12 hours to kick it back and forth before KB hops on, or Greg hops off, KB hops on, and I get through this fuel drip situation. It's kind of next directive. Handle that because oil dry pads are just rotating through here. Um, I've probably gone through at least a quart, uh, maybe two quarts of 
dripped out diesel onto the pads. Yeah. So it's it stinks like hell, and it's annoying, and it's a waste of fuel, and it's a waste of oil dry pads. Mm -hmm. But it's not. I mean, it's it's not as detrimental as gasoline leaking, I guess. If you wanted to compare it to something worse. <laughs> <laughs> What I don't like it? to compare myself to the worst item. What's that? Yeah. What was it that's happening? I didn't. I was looking up something. What'd you say? Um. So I've got a little fuel drip that. Oh, okay. It's just annoying as all hell, really. Yeah. I mean, I've driven trucks with bigger fuel drips, but I'd like my boat to not leak fuel. <laughs> true. True. Um, yeah, I was looking up, I mean, the intercoastal looks cool, you know, you know, it looks pretty chill. I mean, yeah, pretty it, direct. yeah, well, I mean, it looks, it's definitely more relaxing. You'll have access to stop. It might take you a little longer, but you know, the comfort thing accounts for something and your ability to get some rest and all that good stuff, uh, be a heck of a lot easier Here's there. Yeah, we can do short stops also. I mean, we could do yeah. six-hour stops after we anchor, set up lighting and everything, and we're right back out. Yeah. Just whenever we feel like uh, in the ICW, because I've got 300 feet of chain and probably 1,000 feet of anchor rope close to it. Hmm. It definitely could be uh, something to think about. You know, technically, we could anchor most anywhere out here if absolutely necessary. But I really don't feel like getting out 900 more feet of rope to add to my <laughs> yeah. pain. <laughs> Just so I can go 7 to 1 safely, you know? Like, no, pass. And then who's just going to run across and scoop up my anchor on anything? Have you uh, kept track of your distance so far from when you first picked up the boat? I've not added everything up, no. no I'm on our detail route. I know that we should be over a thousand miles now. And that on the rough route, whenever Samuel stepped off, I told him that he just earned himself about 555. Yeah. And that was uh, in uh, wherever the hell the last place was. <laughs> yeah, you've probably got w over a thousand for sure. I'm guessing you're probably 1200 ish because you had a lot of janky ass stuff in the beginning. Uh, having to pull in and stop and go back out and pull in and stop and go around. And yeah, yeah. I'm sure you probably got 1200 nautical miles, man. That's good. I'm knocking these things out, man. We're just racking them up. <laughs> It's been a hell of an adventure. A little bit more than I expected, honestly. I mean, a lot more than I expected, honestly. Yeah, I bet it's a lot more than you thought initially. <laughs> Let's you not probably, lie to ourselves here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you probably thought, yeah, man, I'll go pick up the boat. Everything will be fine. Get in it. Be back home in two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, close to it, more or less. Yeah. Sum it up that way. Because I remember when I was first <laughs> talking to you, you were like, oh, yeah, man, be there in a couple of weeks. I'm like, this guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy. And I Amateur said, knocking. <laughs> yeah, I said, I said October, and we're not gonna be far <laughs> off. <laughs> Dude, oh man. <laughs> Dude, it's just especially this, if we do ICW, we'll get. If we do ICW, it's think. 100 percent October. <laughs> just, like, <laughs> just like I initially said, and even if you don't, you'll be close because still, you know, you got stuff to dodge out there. Yeah, um, having to go that far out—it's uh, definitely not just running the edge of your uh, middle school map there. No, you know? no. You couldn't no. just take your little number two pencil and draw that line so easily. <laughs> well, and that's the thing. Like you look on the map and you think, okay, man, you can just shoot out, cross over, bingo, six hundred nautical miles, be there in a week. Oh no, that's yeah. not at all how it works. Um, <laughs> that's not at all what happens. <laughs> and no, it's no, just, no. Uh, yeah. Oh, and by the way, we're going against every other person who owns a boat during hurricane season right now. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fully recognized. But how cool, man. What an adventure you've had, though. I mean, you'd be able to look oh, back man. on this thing 50 years from now and be like, yeah, oh, man, dude, I did that. Oh, dude, man. Hosting, dude. I mean, yeah, we'll have footage forever. Uh, it's great. For sure, man. That's really cool. Man, check out some of these clouds out here. Let's see if I can get you over there. What city is that? I believe that's Pensacola. Yeah, Pensacola Beach. Should be making a turn in uh, probably about five or ten miles. Wanted to run the coast, get out to the clear channel just in case this chipping lane was actually what it said it was. I've seen one other vessel. Uh, since we've been anywhere near and one before that otherwise yeah. everyone took heed of that warning got the hell out none of those fishing boats would have made it out here uh, during all that no <laughs> we're rocking pretty good Rex, he stood up he was like oh my god it looks like a bomb went off at my birth here Everything from the salon table just rocked <laughs> right over it. <laughs> there were pistachio shells and swimsuits and towels and hats and socks all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Well, how cool though. Yeah, it's been it's been a hell of an adventure. Being that uh, we're so used to being such a, a tight little tripod, me and the family. It's been a whole new scenario since you know, being out there, being way off offshore, out of service, out of contact, things like that. Yeah, it's probably been hard, man, on the wife and your daughter. Oh, like, yeah. Where's dad, Definitely. man? Damn it. Dad, what are you doing out there <laughs> gallivanting on the ocean? Gallivanting about. <laughs> <laughs> Out there, <laughs> the pirate's life for me. <laughs> <laughs> for real, still haven't gotten a pirate hat out here. <laughs> I'm telling you, and I told you a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, I was like, man, nobody's got patches, peg legs, no pirate hats. What's going on, man? <laughs> like, oh, man, I've been required to wear a patch more than once, so yeah, I'm not interested right. anymore. <laughs> not true. <laughs> I earned my patch. <laughs> True, oh yeah true. sounds like the girls have been pretty busy at home though my wife's a hell of an artist she's got some large work going on right now um taking care of the pads that we have uh, apparently we had parakeets over the last couple nights um so we're the proud parents of some baby parakeets that's cool what kind of art does it, your wife do like pencil paper computer um, it, or what uh hand painted mostly um, she does pencil on paper periodically, but uh, and she'll generally sketch out everything. Right now, she's got um, a huge uh, it's a four by eight foot uh, hot air balloon painting that she was wow. commissioned for uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, she's got, I think, thirty something balloons going into it. Uh, wow. It's it's coming about really nicely. You have to show us some of your her art sometime. I will definitely. I'll collect some so I can. Maybe send it over to you and you can post it up while we're doing an interview. Well, yeah, yeah. just uh, have her send you pictures and then I'll post them when we're doing a live stream. Sweet. Does she have a website or anything yet or no? Uh, Yeah, she does. It's catlongan.com. K-A-T-L-O-N-G-A-N. Um, she's getting started on that. Uh, she just got that going a couple months ago now. Cool, man. So we're basically looking for um, just a place to anchor around here that's going to be near one of the marinas. Uh, being that we, if you remember, don't have a dinghy motor that's operational at the moment. Yeah. Uh, I'd like it to be nearby. <laughs> it's cold as long. Dude, Florida is a nightmare. That damn state's like half the country. 
It's a mess. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe that the coastline this damn place has. It's wild, man. Like, even if you're in a car and you start, like, in Key West, for instance, and you're like, cool, I'm going to head up and I'm going to go to Georgia. Or, like, you're like, okay, cool, I'm going to go to Alabama from Key Largo, like, or Key West. Forget about it, dude. Yeah. It's days. Days. Forget about it. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> I've made that drive because I've drove cross country a bunch down to the Keys. And, like, really? Wow. It's like I my first time. It's like, oh, cool, man. I'm in Florida, you know, crossover from yeah. Alabama or something. Like, yeah, all right, man. I'm yeah. close. Bullshit. Drop in from it's Atlanta. Like, <laughs> yeah, I got five days of driving left, man, just for Florida. That in Texas is a That's nightmare to too. Yeah, Texas is yeah. a long one too. You hit Texas yeah. like whatever, somewhere in Albuquerque, and you gotta drive all the way across to Louisiana. You're like, oh what? Jesus. Yeah, it's a good 11 hour end to end at least. Too long than that. We generally do the uh, drive from Oklahoma City to uh, Surfside Beach in about eight hours, breaking the speed limit the whole way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Certain areas you can really just let go, so. And it also depends on if you're in a moving truck or a little fast car. So I was checking out some of your wife's art. Yeah. I think I can probably pull it up in the corner. Sweet. I don't know what all she's got on there right now. Try to give the wife a little shout out here. I'll bet. I bet she's on there right now trying to hustle something together. Ah, she probably you know, is. <laughs> she's like, damn it. Being all self-conscious. <laughs> yeah, she's like, why do you have to call me out right now? <laughs> For real. Hi, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I like the uh, wave painting she did a lot. Like an abstract wave. I oh, it. man, I love those. Uh, there's one with like a red and yellow sun in the middle in particular. That's the one I'm looking at. I got it on screen. Yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah, because um, I'm think thinking. That one. I mean, I like um, her style, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, but like, maybe I could commission the wife for something for uh, my channel. She does some logo design a little bit. Well, like her style's cool, and I have this idea for like exactly similar to like her style, for like yeah. uh, a nautical star, like a sailboat, like almost like I could send her some stuff and see. Yeah. She yeah, for sure. wants to, uh, you know, I mean, I'd pay I've done her, like of course. Tattoo design and kind of compiling ideas, and she's done a lot of the same type of stuff. Um, being, being able to work with what people want for commissions. So uh, that would work out really well, I'm sure. That's awesome. That's what uh, my community is all about, man. You know. You're on the members oh, yeah. area. You picked up a crew member oh. from there. KB's going to fly in. Yeah. Uh, you know. Always support the members area. Awesome. Got to. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. And the members yeah. area fully supports me, apparently, because I've gotten lots of help out of it. Really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And free drinks out of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah. And all you yeah, did was all you did was sign up for Patreon and joined my members area. Now look at you. People buying your beers, oh, yeah. you're getting crew members, all kinds of stuff, man. Right. Mm. I yeah. saw some of your gear that you put out. Yeah. I haven't gotten to really get in detail. Where was any of it rash guard? That's really what I wanna. I don't think so. What do you need a rash guard oh. for? Are you going surfing? What? I mean, yeah. Or you just like to wear rash guard material? I mean, I like to wear the material like yeah, out the it's sun. Light. It's nice and light. Right. I should look into those actually, because those are great shirts. Uh, those yeah, rash they last material. Far yeah, and they're so light they and it's hot weather. Like I think all of mine right now have sort of like collar stain from sunscreen building up and just oils and whatnot. Yeah, your wife just posted in comments said she'd be happy to work on a custom piece for my channel. See if I can get her to send me an email, and then I'll uh, send her some of my ideas. Sweet! Awesome. That'll work out well. That's great. What a guy, huh? What a guy. 
pat so myself hard. on the back for being so what legendary. What a guy, for real. Supporting the supporting? Doesn't even make sense. It's back support. Yeah, I know, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Here for your ergonomically correct posture. <laughs> How's that chair working out, speaking of which? Then you get a new chair? Yeah, dude, I was dying, my last one. And then, like, when I finally switched chairs, I looked at the other chair. I'm like, how did I sit in that for the last two and a half years? <laughs> what a sad chair. Did you post a picture of it or anything? No, Can I just we threw, see the old chair? I threw it in the dumpster. <laughs> oh. I was like, screw this chair, man. <laughs> Puerto Rico is the type of place where you throw a chair in the dumpster and it gets ransacked 20 minutes later? Probably. <laughs> It's either that or they just set it on the side of the street and then <laughs> see how long it lasts. Yeah. Someone's going to pick it up, and if they don't, then it's just there forever. Yeah, like I was walking back from the store the other day. So I live in like a row of condos. There's these big, really like skyscraper-ish condo buildings that are all along the street. I live in one of those, and... Like anytime someone moves or somebody's renovating, the big furniture winds up on the sidewalk outside. Because walking back <laughs> in the store, I'm like, that's a nice table, man. Jesus. Dude, I scavenge that stuff all the time. I'm so bad about it. I considered taking on this damn leather chair <laughs> in Key West. I'm not even shitting you. I was like, what kind of need a helm chair? I wonder if I could modify this to. Damn it, that's never going to work. <laughs> Yeah, I always do that stuff, and I'm like, oh, man, I could just sand it and throw a quick paint on it, and then I get it, yeah. it just sits in the corner. I'm like, I don't do anything with it. I'm like, Jesus. Dude, after uh, I was in Key West for Hurricane Irma, and after the storm, before, like, the National Guard and the Army showed up and stuff, I was all over the island because there was stuff everywhere, man. Uh, and <laughs> I was just scavenging, dude. Park. Well, it's just the storm, <laughs> like, wiped out people's houses. <laughs> there was stuff everywhere, man. <laughs> You know, this one house, it's like a big historic house. I'll have to find some pictures sometime. Uh, but a tree fell right through the middle of it. And it looked like, it looked like, you know how you can take like a dollhouse and you can open it? And you can just see like <laughs> yeah. each floor of it. That's exactly how it looked. This tree went right through the middle of it. And you could just see the rooms were totally set up for living. Just a big tree fell right through the middle. Uh, <laughs> it was wild, man. <laughs> I can't even imagine that. That'd be nuts. Dude, it was insane. I mean, that was the gnarliest storm I've ever seen in my life. Uh, yeah. And we had like 150, 160 mile an hour winds. Uh, Jesus. I mean, like I was, I have video. I was like leaving in the middle of the storm because I'm that cool. Um, like the roof was peeling off of the school I was leaving. Wild. It was just slapping uh, right off. Yeah, dude, I'm like. I've seen stuff like that in tornadoes in Oklahoma. Yeah, I got video of it. Well, I'm running down the street and on the ball. You can just hear the storm. I'm like trying to get to a hotel lobby to run inside and duck for cover. Wild stuff, man. Because um, uh -huh. I'm nuts anyway. I'm not, you know, nobody ever said I was the brightest person on the planet. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> it's like, for me, that stuff's exciting. I'm like, let's go grab a backpack. I'm like, just call me Rambo, and I'm off. Oh, <laughs> you know? like, whatever, man. Uh, That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so every man for himself. Oh, for sure. That's exactly how it was. I remember I was, like, walking uh, over by the Smoke and Tuna, which I think you guys were over there, by the And, like, I, I mean, there was stuff everywhere, but there was, like, a can of Mountain Dew. And at the time... <laughs> Cause I didn't prepare for the storm for food or anything. And I remember finding <laughs> that can of Mountain Dew and I literally thought I just won the lottery. I was like, Oh, <laughs> today is my day. <laughs> Dude. I mean, I'm down on like this Island and it, you know, it's, there's no power. It's flooded. Everybody's losing their mind. Everybody that's left. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, Mountain Dew, like, ah, like, you know, <laughs> church music played. I want to make it another <laughs> day. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I got this, man. As long as these dew cans float up every now and then, I'll be all right. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it was great. Good time. Water's certainly gotten, I guess, darker. It's going to say murkier, but I can still see jellyfish five, ten feet down. 
Yeah. What kind? Like uh, just white ones or uh, big purple ones? Cannonballs and white ones. Big like softball white ones with tentacles and then uh, big uh, mostly clear pinkish cannonball. See any mana wars? Right. Those are big purple ones. Right. He, said, uh, he, he thinks he saw a couple back there whenever uh, we were first coming out of the storm and the water was all glassy. Yeah, off the keys, you have like, I don't know if they call it mating season. Maybe it's like migration season for the uh, mana wars. Yeah. And like we would go out off Key Largo and go snorkeling and you'd literally be down there like trying to snorkel and someone on the bow of the boat, like just pointing out mana wars. <laughs> One right there. <laughs> One right there. Like, oh man. <laughs> Dang. Uh, whenever we first uh, moved down to Freeport area, they were littered the beach. Um, that was back in March. Yeah. You just couldn't, you couldn't go a hundred feet without seeing another pile of them. It's just wherever yeah. the surf was locked up. I find, uh, inappropriate things hilarious. And so in the keys, man, uh, we'd have that like migration season and then uh, like hundreds of them watch up on the beach and you'd see these tourists like hit the beach, obviously their first time tropical beach. You know, mom, dad, a couple of kids, kids go run into the beach, man. There's all these big, bright neon purple jellyfish and their man awards. <laughs> they get like the kid without fail every time, man. Kid reaches down, grabs the man war and bam, <laughs> you know, and then the kid's crying and it's, oh, and I just sit back. I'm like, sucker. <laughs> sucker. <laughs> yeah, I'm horrible. So <laughs> there's that. Oh man, my daughter's the one that goes up. She like scoops it up all super gently and like gets it in a screen or a sand pile or something, and she carries it back out and tries to let it live its life. Ah, uh, nice. Next thing you know, we look down the beach a little bit. And some kids running out of the water screaming. I have to wonder, is it that one? Yeah, <laughs> probably, probably. There was a girl. Um, I have no idea where she were, but there's a super, super deadly octopus called the blue ringed octopus. And it's like Whoa. one of the most venomous creatures on the planet. Um, and some girl picked one up. Some beach to take a picture for like her Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't realize like God. what it was. And luckily nothing happened to her. But uh, wow. yeah, everybody was like, are you insane? Like it had that thing bitter. Oh, it would have been a wrap. Be <laughs> yeah. Vir Virginia woman unknowingly held deadly blue ringed octopus in Instagram video. The story made like inside edition because people were like, are you <laughs> stupid? Cause that thing will kill you like right now, man. I mean, <laughs> I can't even o octopus. Like they're such weird animals too, that you yeah. don't even know how that thing's going to move. No. <laughs> Wild stuff. Yeah, man, I'm stoked for KB to hop on here. Go get some vision done. Well, I'm hope what Knock I'm hoping for because very self-serving. So I'm hoping that he hops on there and he really does the fishing thing, man, and we get some live stream fishing. Yeah, I sent a line out yesterday, and, yeah. um, I, or day before yesterday, I guess, before we ran into storm country, um, and then we just I don't know trolled it along. Uh, we were probably running only about six knots, so we didn't get a whole lot out of it, really. Yeah. Well, you did catch that one kingfish, man. So that's cool. Yeah. That's a, that was a good one. Just looking for more out here. Basically, every time that I've gone to throw the line out, next thing I see are dolphins. I'm like, well, I don't want to catch flying fish, and I certainly don't want to catch a dolphin. So let's go ahead and reel this back in. A dolphin, <laughs> dolphin. I caught a pelican once on accident in Key West, man. It was awful. I had a top hopper and I threw it out there uh, and the stupid <laughs> pelican snacked it. And I'm like, gosh, dang. And so I had to reel in this pelican, man. Yeah, See, I had to reel I'm in. And, about that. You know, and of course it has course double now. treble hooks and I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> so that pelican was not a good day for the pelican. <laughs> Here's the pelican. Yeah, buddy. How far do we have to the in? Gotcha. 
Yeah. Set for 615 arrival. Where are you going to? Um, in the bay near all the marinas. And then we're going to find an anchorage after we get fuel. What's the name of the bay? The only entrance into Pensacola that I Pensacola. saw. Pensacola, okay. Yeah. Pensacola. Pensacola Beach Canada. Marina was the first place we had a uh, map to, or Palafox. Is, is that where you're going to pick up KB, around there somewhere too? Yeah, somewhere around there. Whatever's going to be closest to the airport. I don't want him to have to like go around to the yeah. damn beach side channel. Um, way so fifty thirty dollar Uber or whatever they want to run. And you're gonna you're gonna be there tonight, huh? Yeah, be there tonight. Um, Greg takes off uh, around noon, and then KB should be in around midnight. Oh, cool, man! So you're gonna be at shore for a while. Well, in the marina. Yeah, I will get to kind of move over. around. Look up. Be cool, man. Might just go stake out on the beach and sleep on the sand for a while. Not on the boat for a day. Yeah, that'll be nice. Scoop up a, a, a cord or rope uh, hammock because we all know how the previous <laughs> hammock went. If you don't, it blew out the bottom and I fell four feet onto the uh, into the cockpit. <laughs> so, speaking of stuff that's broken, uh, <laughs> has this trip cost you financially way more than you initially thought? Oh, significantly. <laughs> like I, I just every time something goes wrong, I'm like, I thought. I'm like, gosh, oh, his yeah. bank account hates him. Oh no, my bank account loves me because my wife's very successful with her business now, there you go. There <laughs> and I don't know if that's due to me being gone and out of <laughs> out of her way, probably, <laughs> or what? <laughs> probably. <laughs> you know, she, she can focus. She has been. She has been killing it, man. It's been great. Every time I get a report. She just tells me how her business is exploding, so it's really there cool. And she does remote work, so she hasn't really had to go in for any of that either. That's cool. Um, online interviews and onboarding and things like that. If anyone needs cannabis accounting services, we got you. <laughs> Let me know. Maybe sailing refit accounting services. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we could work with that, too, probably. <laughs> she's going to have first-hand experience in doing that accounting. Yeah, and then she's going to be like, we're never going to buy a boat again. Ever again. <laughs> Don't ask your accountant if you should buy a boat. The answer is no. <laughs> so the guy that you bought the boat from, is he still on board, or was he the other guy? Uh, he was the other guy. That was ah. Samuel. Yep. He took off. Uh, he, he lives in Florida, and his dad ended up coming down from Crystal River area Ooh. and scooped him up. Gave me a ride down some stores and uh, in Largo. Um, so that was really cool. Saved me like $30 in Ubers or more. Yeah, man, that Uber will sneak up on you. It's ridiculous. You stop for two days. You need to go eight places. There goes yeah. a couple hundred dollars. Well, yeah, like mine, I have one card attached to my Uber, and I don't use that card for much. Uh, and like yeah. sometimes at the end of the month, I check my card. I'm like, Jesus, I should just buy Come a car on. at this rate. Damn. <laughs> I made two payments by now. Well, yeah, because it's like yeah. at five dollars a pop, ten bucks a pop. You don't think much of it. End of the month comes, and you're like, I spent how many hundreds of dollars on Uber? Is this a joke? <laughs> Yeah, for real. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get right. rid of a vehicle right now. True. So what do you... So as being a brand new sailor and buying this boat, what are some things that you think other new sailors should do uh, when they first pick up their boat? Like what, what were some of the things like you didn't expect or things you wish you had known or someone had told you or um well the words ready to sail are a lie <laughs> you should do your own due diligence yeah, yeah. i mean that's that kind of goes with any large purchase though mm -hmm. um, i feel like i've just 
it's just kind of talking to a wall. But at the same time, I mean, I've purchased a lot of things and mm -hmm. I didn't do all my due diligence. Yeah. So I think it's worth saying at least, you know, check your oil, check your transmission fluid, check just any given, any given thing that you can think that you're not 100% sure on, check it. I mean, someone can either tell you or you can gain that knowledge immediately with very small tools or, or just by trying. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, just trusting that you're ready to go. Uh, it depends who says that also and how prepared that person was. Yeah. A lot, yeah, of, a lot you of people know. aren't going to be prepared as myself, for, for instance, for going into whether it's camping or road trips or up the mountain or offshore now. I mean, I've got a whole new perspective on preparation for that. Well, yeah, and not knowing what you don't know, you don't know that you don't know. And so you buy a boat and you see, like in your case, and I'm not like picking on the previous owner or anything, but so you buy a boat, you know, you see some videos and it's been all quote unquote refit and being a new sailor, you get to the boat and you're like, man, this is really pretty and things look, you know, in shape and cosmetically clean. And yeah. then you head offshore and it's like, what the f did I just get into? <laughs> Exactly. Like, I've had oh. it happen to me, man. So I know, you know. Oh man! Uh, like you said, ready. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> you said it was just refit, ready to go. <laughs> this thing. How long did uh, Alma sit? Um. Uh, they pulled it out. Uh, it sat probably on the hard. About six months, six eight months. Yeah. Uh, Samuel had it, they, they rotated through and got into a uh, slip, quote unquote slip. It was a rough, rough marina over there. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely a, a boat yard with boat parking, is basically what it was. Uh, but they, they did have, you know, a, a million dollar lift. So they, they're bringing boats in and out all day. Um, uh, sat in there for about three months after that, three four months I think, yeah, before I got it. Yeah. Maybe maybe closer to six, honestly. Like that. Long time either way, just in general, you know. Yeah. People will like uh, often contact me. Looks like pretty damn clean. Uh, sorry, I had VHF. What's up? No, you're good. Go ahead. Uh, bottom looked pretty clean. Um, I mean, you can see. In clear water, you can see straight through the rudder, straight to the bottom. Um, uh, unless someone snuck up and scraped the bottom, uh, I think either passage or like the first passage uh, kind of cleaned it up a little bit, just moving. Uh, or it just didn't take on a whole lot because it was in really decent looking condition, at least for amateur evaluation. Yeah. Somebody asked, are you going to keep the same name or are you going to change it? Uh, we're keeping it. Um, Alma means soul. It's got a lot of it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> cool, and I don't have any purpose in, in wondering about the what ifs of changing a boat name, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how you feel about it. I don't know how certain people feel about it, but I'd rather not be caught in the middle if I like the name already. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing. Boat names are all personal, so if you like it, that's all that matters. Yeah. You know. Looks like we're getting closer to some sand. There we go. Well, my thing's, like, awesome. You're pulling in, so we'll have service. <laughs> <laughs> you went MIA on me for like three days offshore sailing. You just left us all behind. Everybody kept I asking know. about you. I'm like, I don't know, man. Icebergs, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Superstar now. He just ran off. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, typical. Used me <laughs> and left. <laughs> yep. mm -hmm. No, man. Not at all. Not at all. 
Well, yeah, because like your uh, your AIS is just I don't know. You know, I think like the last update it shows right now, like eleven and a half hours ago. Oh really? For me, I don't know if anybody else. Panama City. That's a newer one. Yeah, you were off. Yeah, off the coast of Panama. Yeah. That was, I mean, right before, or right as I got to cell service, barely holding my phone as high as I could up on the awning and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one bar, like, ah, I got a bar, and it just started wigging out with messages. Did it? <laughs> sending and receiving and updating and all the, <laughs> all the abuse that I couldn't access my own phone. <laughs> there you go. There you go. But it also updated AI asked. My wife knew where I was. That's good. Big comfort there. Lots of jelly. Grab one. Scoop them up with your hand, oh, man. Grab we don't have a polarized filter on your phone. We can't see shh. Yeah, I've tried that before. That never works either. I've tried it though. I'm like, man. <laughs> some, cameras are weird. Yeah, cameras are just weird. It's like, I can see all this perfectly with my eyeballs. You turn on a camera, yeah. it's like, this doesn't show up at all. What the? Come on, give me a break. As we're out here fishing, and we had one guy that was trying to just cut across the bow. Uh, once I turned straight at them, they diverted their course. Uh, but he was just right on a collision course, just wailing right at us. It was the first boat we saw after the storm. You have... Man, uh, I like to not do that. <laughs> you have sails up right now? We do not. Uh, what's the wind at? Yeah. yeah. Motor, 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 motor. You guys probably don't have no wind. Ah, uh, yeah, we have nine on a super closer, close haul. Hmm. Well, I'm excited for you, man. The, if you take the ICW, that'd be cool. Yeah. You'll see it, some cool stuff, man. Another perspective on it and get to, yeah, exactly. Get to see those towns in there. Across the Mississippi. Hey, you might as that'd well, man. And the last time I crossed the Mississippi River... So have you have you ever heard of like bridge fear? People having a uh, yeah. major fear of crossing bridges. I did. So I used to like have that this. once. Dude, I used to have this. I once <laughs> I realized I was like coming to a bridge, I would like almost close my eyes, like ah shit. Hopefully the car drives straight. Wow. <laughs> oh, it was rough. It was just not yeah. intelligent. Basically, it is what I, I chalk it up to. So got over that years later go by and um we're, we're traveling just recently on i-40 uh, i-40 east we're headed to tennessee and we go to cross the mississippi river yeah. um for a year and a half ago or so and does anybody remember when they shut down the i-40 bridge across the mississippi river it made big national news and things well that was like hours after we came back across the bridge <laughs> headed back <laughs> from tennessee now, on the way there, I was like, man, this bridge hasn't been maintained. Look at those rivets. This bridge is dog shit. I don't know about all this. And so yeah. we came back over that same bridge, and, dude, it was it, it was like within two to six hours. They were like, this bridge is condemned. It needs to be fixed. Shut it down. Yeah. And I, you know, deep down inside, I was like, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew there was a reason for this. <laughs> all those years. <laughs> Yeah. Oklahoma had really bad bridges, and like even before that, I had justification for that because Oklahoma's bridges started just falling apart after I had like come to with my own self. Um, sure enough, the bridges, concrete bridges, just fell apart, dropped on cars and things. That's wild. And so man. I was like, well, logical fear. <laughs> yeah. I don't trust amateur engineering. I don't know. Where is it? Where yeah. is the fear? Where is the logic? There's yeah. no balance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. all yourself. Balance it yourself. Go across the bridge if you can. <laughs> yeah, hope for the best. Bridges of life, right? <laughs>
Yeah, there was one. Yeah, that stuff's more common than you think, man. I Across had no idea. Boom. I thought I was a complete psychotic and that I really just needed to get over some shit. Apparently, it was all justified. <laughs> <laughs> all justified. Yeah. My ex-girlfriend was like that. We'd go to a bridge, she'd start panicking. I'm like, what the hell's wrong with you, man? <laughs> it's just a drive bridge. On the it bridge. Get over day. yourself. Okay. Yeah. Every day, all day. Like, if it's your time, it's your time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Such verification. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm so like out of the loop <laughs> as far as like things going on in the world that yeah. I found out the queen died today from my members area. Dude, I saw that. You're yeah. like, did someone die or something? I was like, who guys? died? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't. I don't like, get hey. it. Yeah, I don't like and that's like worldwide news headline everywhere. I had no idea. I was <laughs> yeah, like, what? <laughs> that's like how out of the loop I am living on an island in the middle <laughs> of the Atlantic. I'm like, I don't care about anything. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody but myself. Yeah, I'm just like, what? <laughs> like, I got my little stuff, you know, I don't know. What? what? Live up here in a building on the ocean. <laughs> I'm gonna go plug this phone in because uh, apparently it's sucking the life out of battery. Cool. How's everybody doing today, huh? You guys all doing okay? Hit that like button, helps the video, all those good things. Tips are always appreciated. Right there if you want to. Sure does help the channel since I'm demonetized. Is there any progress on that? We want to deal with the demonetization. Uh so I can reapply I think tomorrow actually. Sweet. It's been like a month now. Uh I can reapply tomorrow and I'm just super stressed about that. I'm just hoping that everything is fine because if yeah. not, it's another month. Right. Uh, you know, in another month. Woo. And it's, I mean, is there, what, what are the stipulations here? Do you have to like gain followers? Or are you? No, it was just, I did those sailing compilations. I guess that's considered repurposed content. I like three of them. Um, oh, really? like, yeah, they just wiped out my whole channel because of it. It's that repurposed content. I'm like, are you nuts? We were just looking into some of that because of the uh, people who redid the boat. They've got uh, it was sailing element channel. Yeah. And I mean, based on rules and regs, you can use that content as long as you source it right and something something i don't know my wife knows details but i mean if this whole time i've heard of you at this situation well, i don't want to go through any of that mess yeah it's very very so people are very very confused about how youtube works um in the united states of america and other places there's things called fair use so as if you take yeah. someone's content you can use it as long as you add enough to it but on youtube that's not true Whoever owns that footage can just copyright claim you, no matter what you've done. Um, and YouTube will give your channel a strike and take down the video, and that's that. And if you want to fight it, you have to fight it in court. YouTube doesn't decide fair use. So anything that you wow. use, you have to have permission from the owner to use it. Um, whether it's music or videos or anything, you have to have permission from the owner to use it. Um, and then outside of that, so I've never had any issues like with that stuff because I don't use other people's stuff uh, without permission. So, um, and then there's the repurposed content. So if you were to just, let's say, take an episode from Alma's channel and just re-upload yeah. it on your channel, um, it could be weird because YouTube could consider that repurposed content. It's content that was already posted on another channel 
now you're posting the yeah. exact same content on your channel without that would be considered repurposed content unless you edit it and re-edit it and changed it and added a voiceover and stuff um yeah you change like 20 percent or something and you can yeah and then when it comes to like making money on youtube it's all about views it's not about subscribers it's all about views um and a lot of channels uh are doing a lot of like youtube shorts yeah so, like expedition evans is one doing youtube shorts lots of them um but you make no money from youtube shorts so you can have like 80 million views in youtube shorts you make like maybe a thousand bucks um nice which is silly and you'll get you get like a lot of subscribers from doing shorts but the problem with shorts subscribers they don't watch your long content so you're just artificially inflating your subscriber numbers for nothing it doesn't do your channel any good in the long run um it'll look artificially great like oh look at all our subscribers and then you click you know the channel's got a million subscribers and their video has hundred thousand views it's like what <laughs> that's <laughs> terrible man um you know compared to the amount of so youtube's funny the whole fair use thing doesn't apply at all uh repurpose content you got to make sure you change it a bunch and have rights from the people see because i had say thing movie called chasing bubbles um and it's a documentary and I reached out to the guy's family from that documentary and I spoke with their attorneys and I got a release from their attorneys and all the legal stuff correct to be able to stream that movie here on YouTube. Um, however, YouTube, regardless of because I have the license or not, YouTube can technically consider that repurposed content because I didn't do anything to the content. I just streamed the content that I got the rights for. Um, gotcha. so it's very, it's very like tricky on YouTube. Yeah. So it's, it. Well, and I streamed that movie a bunch. Um, my rights to stream that expired in, I want to say July of this year. Um, but you know, now in hindsight, I didn't know that that could be considered repurposed content. Um, yeah. but it could be. And then. The sailing compilations I did, those are just sailing clips and storms put to music. Repurposed content, apparently. Um, and like a lot of people don't understand about my channel. They think that I just use other people's content. I never use anybody else's content. Uh, if I do like a Beneteau video or something, I have permission from Beneteau to use those videos. Uh, and I do like that. So I have a bunch of haters like in the YouTube community. <laughs> Uh, the sailing YouTube community. No, like he just uses haters? other people's content. I'm like a lot of that. A lot of what people think is stock footage is footage that I've taken in the past. I would have a lot more footage, but I lost my last computer to the air conditioning unit while mining crypto. So, you know, what do you do? Yeah. My hard drive's toast. Right after a whole bunch of uploads and microphone and all that fun things. I didn't, uh, I mean, I didn't put it in front of the air conditioner, but it just fried due to heat overuse. Well, yeah, and then I had to buy this computer. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no. Sure, sure, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I don't so do tragic, anything dude. with this computer except edit. That's it. There's no <laughs> crypto mining. There's no nothing. Just We edit on this computer, and that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure before it was like, ooh, I have all this extra video car that i'm not yeah, I've got all this juice today or quarter today. yeah <laughs> like you got all this juice man let me install a miner down you know mine yep. some eth nope not on this one I want... <laughs> well like in the past i've had like a bunch of artwork like graphic design stuff i've done lost that my computer crashes and i gotta reset every i'm like okay enough of this nonsense man all right <laughs> too many hours went into that yeah so now I'm just like, oh, these are editing only. Huge beach over here. I mean, it's like a peninsula beach. Yeah, I was looking. I'm like, where are you? You have to go all the way to the end of Pensacola. Pensacola Beach or whatever. To get into the bay. Yeah. yeah. That's a long one, man. I mean, that's 
I didn't know that was gonna be. That's a, like a. Yeah, cause you're. Are you by St. George Island yet, or have you passed that? I'm trying to figure out where you are. I think we passed St. George Island, yeah. Okay, so you were off the coast of Panama City, roughly. Um, whenever I turned inland to, so we, I had five storms in a row, and then the big mama was out there. Um, I, I was looking from like 12 o'clock to 9 o'clock in my view, a storm just flash on in front of me, and otherwise darkness. Uh, and I finally, I was like, man, I'm not going to stay this course, which was the straight line from uh, Tampa, basically, to, or from Clearwater to Pensacola. Yeah. So if you run that straight line, that's that was our first course. Um, from there, I think we were about 80-something miles out whenever I turned inland and started heading toward Panama City. And uh, we were 80 miles off from, like, Apalachicola area southwest of there do you think you're off so the I, coast of destin right now maybe or rosemary beach or where were you at? first towers whenever we first saw land back that way, uh was destin but it's i think this long stretch here if you look at the uh the bay and then the, the little archipelago back there or mm -hmm. little peninsula that runs out that to my knowledge, and I'm not looking at the map right now, but to my knowledge, it is uh, Pensacola Beach. Okay. On um, one side is the Gulf, on the other side is the Bay. Pretty, I mean, narrow overall strip. And you're going to cut right now, in? You're going to cut in at the end of Pensacola Beach? At that inlet? Yes. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. So you're, uh, you're here somewhere. I'm just looking on a map. I'm like, okay, so you're here somewhere. I don't know where. When's your ETA for that uh, inlet? Uh, what's the ETA for the next turn? Two and a half miles from the turn to go straight line into the channel. Ooh, baby. Yeah. Okay, so you're close, man. Help me up. I'm going to have to take over for Greg here soon. Probably get more down. Yep, yep, yep. How far offshore are you? You're close. You're close to shore too. Oh yeah. I mean, I can see building rooftops, flagpoles, water towers. What are you? Maybe a mile offshore? Yeah, not far. Not far at all. And we're still probably thirty feet deep, or more. Thirty. Thirty feet deep. Well, that'll be right cool, out man. here, I don't end? know if you guys can see the split from sand to sand, but that's that channel. Oh, okay, yeah, so you're super close. Okay. Well, we're going to hang out and watch, man, when you go on watch, if you don't mind. Sweet. Yeah, no worries. I mean, you got the phone rigged up perfectly. Life is good. Things are great. Things are great, man. When's KB yeah, leaving? Uh, oh, man, there's a turtle right here. Turtle, turtle. On up, no dice, no dice. Another good like, size uh... turtle. It was like, ah, this guy's yelling at me. <laughs> Run away. So when's KB's gonna fly out tomorrow? Then, I guess. Uh, yeah. He, uh, let's see. I don't know when his flight leaves exactly, but he should be in for midnight. Not midnight tonight, but midnight Friday night. From here, I can see cars and a truck and camper driving down the beach, driving down the road that's next to the beach. In yeah. which case, I'm sure this beach vanishes in a storm. <laughs> it's a pretty big peninsula, it looks like. Whatever that's called. I don't know what the hell that's called. It's called something. Not that interesting. Yeah, buddy. Check in with Greg back here.
Is that tomorrow, KB? You leave tomorrow, 6 p.m.? All right, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, get your new merch, ChasingLatitudes.com. Boom, get yourself a nice little mug, ChasingLatitudes.com. T-shirts, some stickers, some shirts, mug, hoodie, get your gear, get your gear here, get your gear now. not I mean I could but I'd it'd be too much of a nightmare the new gear now your shirt went out today your last shirt thanks it's on its way man this one this one the screw shirt. Well, yeah, and you'll be like one of the OGs with the old one. Because it's good. I'm going to take it off pretty soon. This is a limited run shirt. Thank <laughs> you. 
How's it going? Side. No worries. Can you hear me? Yeah, what's up? Oh, I'm just back. Checking it. About to air some things up. Air some fenders up. Yeah, I'm just chilling, man. We're just, uh... Yeah, man, we're just hanging out. Just Afternoon back. sale. Afternoon chit chat. Uh, I'll play some better. Unless I'll you have any questions. What's up? What are you gonna do? 
So I'm gonna go inflate some fenders, unless there are any questions or anything. No, cool. we're just kind of chilling, man. Relaxing afternoon. I don't know. It totally is. Much, much more so than yesterday or last night. This is this uh, this is the calm before the storm. Shoot. <laughs> the pulling oh. into the ICW. <laughs> Thanks, JT. How's your day going, my man? What a... Uh... <laughs> did he do to the camera? What is... What? I was... Oh, that's my fault. Okay, my bad.
It's going well. Bought some Sophie stuff. Chris, Chris was asking what? Pensacola Beach, yes. You can stream my move. <laughs> Twenty years. Wow. When am I buying one? Uh, I'm currently demonetized, JT, so I'm not making any money right now. So I'm not sure. I was ideally planning to before the end of this year, but being demonetized on YouTube? I don't know. He's going to be pulling to the ICW. You guys want full screen or you guys want... Yeah. Yeah, my plan, JT, originally was by the end of this year. But that looks like that's out the window. Maybe by the end of the next year. <laughs> I don't know, man. I need to hurry up and get remonetized.
to move the camera back there or I'll be at the helm. You know, we're probably going to get wet with the clouds that are out here, yes. Bear with me just a minute as I flip the camera and things. All good? But I'm boom. Yeah, no. I don't like to do stuff like that, JT. It's a good idea. I mean, I have people I can buy boats with right now, but that just always ends bad. A friend of mine's coming from Germany, though. Uh, next month. She's going to be here for a few months. I might buy one with her. She's really cool. Oh, the tech. Driving home now. Can't really chat, but server went awesome. Just need new batteries. They got drained and killed. So ah. Talking to me, uh, no chat, but I did just notice those shorts yours, man. Are is that your uh anchoring light? Your shorts, those are very bright. <laughs> you like those, eh? Very bright. You're like, What's up? I've arrived, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, but I just scooped those up in uh Clearwater. Apparently, they uh make them locally in Clearwater and sell them at Walgreens. There you go. Surprised. That's one of the reasons I bought them. I kind of want some random shorts. Once I saw they were local, I went for them. I think Walmart's my favorite store. Walmart's or Marshall's? Marshall's has great deals. 
<laughs> Shop there sometimes when I have to, but generally hate it. Now, so if you take the ICW, you're going to go to, what's your end destination? Galveston or Freeport? I don't Freeport. even know. Freeport. Freeport. We would go to Galveston, pop out, and then pop into the jetty uh, okay. ICW channel right there. So just there yeah. in Galveston, like the, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, Galveston Bay. Galveston Bay. Probably have the girls meet me up there. We'll Ooh. Check it all out. And probably swap from there. Um, I know that the airport is in Houston, so it's super close to right there. We need you to and make the transition to full time sailing. Get down here to the Caribbean. Dude, I mean. All it takes is a little send, right? You just full send it, bro. You just full send it now. <laughs> just go for it. I mean, yeah. Like, <laughs> I see the problem. The record, right? uh, <laughs> true story. <laughs> Looks like you're going to get, you're going to get an afternoon thunderstorm. Yeah. Let's That's what I'm talking so. about. I'm just waiting for no, content, man. In. Watch that. Not knowing where we're going to go and gonna ram into someone's dock it's not a bad plan i, I don't think i mean to me it seems like a good plan uh yeah. oh you're gonna get nailed let me see Dude, here that's trap. oh yeah you're gonna get plowed yeah i'm looking at the radar right now i think i'm in the right state where am i hold on let me let me get my life together <laughs> i mean it doesn't look fantastic it looks like it's gonna take Couple you know, hours. <laughs> you're gonna get blasted. You're pulling into Pensacola, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna get blasted. Ooh, this is gonna be a good show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ooh. super pumped. <laughs> pumped for my demise. I see. I see. Super pumped. Well, not oh, for your I mean, demise. I just need the. Here? We're what? getting like the sea. I mean, we got two foot waves all of a sudden. It got really choppy. Yeah, you're gonna get trashed in about eh, 30 minutes what in the bloody hell man you got a big big storm coming well by storm i just mean uh you know afternoon florida stuff yeah a little <laughs> see how long it'll uh take to pass over again should be some radar that shows passing by next time yeah my app my app never sh i mean this particular app i have pulled up right now never shows me um national weather service man that's where it's at yeah i know i just for stream i pull up a different one is all yeah i think that's what he's going to do right now he's about to get blasted you guys can see the storm up in the top right the chat you better close those hatches johnny chris you want to close got? your hatches yeah i don't want to do that yeah don't get the boat wet. Put on no my seatbelt. We get your seatbelt on, man. Get ready. <laughs> it's about to get hairy. I just settled yeah. on my lawsuits. <laughs> I'm have a song. Oh, yeah. And Debbie. Yeah, he's going to get blasted. All right, I'm going to do a quick intro, I think. I'm going to clip this. Maybe. Ah, the perfect storm. 
The good thing is it's just going to be mostly rain, I think. Some new jackline tethers, got some new hardware that I overspent on at West Marine. Fancy! Oh, oh, Here you go. <laughs> they try to sell me that stuff. I'm like, where's your bungee cords? <laughs> <laughs> we had cheapy bungee cords. Not a bad idea, but it's not a great one necessarily either. Yeah. I do like, uh, oh, and I didn't even realize that these were uh, snubbers, but we used apparently snubbers for uh, jackline tethers uh, in training. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, excessive now that I know. <laughs> Little. Little afternoon squall. Yeah. I mean, it's nice. It's just a typical Florida squall, so it won't be bad, but. It's reality TV, folks. Yeah. Salt laugh. <laughs> like that damn video. Who was that that was posting about that video the other day? Right. I don't know. That might have been KB. Which, um, what were you saying? Which one have you been checking lately that's been the most accurate for you? Um, radar.weather.gov. Um, they generally got local stuff and you can scroll um, through a couple days. And then just, um, uh, like your local whatever weather, I just like Houston 13, and you can just play through there nationally or wherever, zoom out and, and go to wherever you are, and you can just see the general radar. I was just checking to see which one's been the most accurate for you. Most accurate would be weather.gov. Although we got completely blindsided by the big one yesterday, so. <laughs> yeah, they're all, they were all yeah. educated guesses at best. Yeah, definitely. It's just who's got the most education, guess the best, or who's mm -hmm. paid the best. Yep. What's your depth? No idea. We lost GPS a minute ago huh. for some unforeseen reason. Probably because I was using the air pump and it decided to suck the life out of the battery. I have no idea, really. Fair enough. Fair enough. No big deal. This happens though. We have two GPSs and one tends to work still. I don't know why. So we have our interior GPS. Yeah. And it's coming back on now.
Father Tech, how's the boat looking? Good. Feet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do some monitoring from the inner GPS up there. Go for it, Find man. Drag, no. What's going on? We're just hanging out watching. Once you're in the chin, 30 feet, 39, and just cut short the whole area, sandbar. A little rolly. A little bit. You're so much more calm now than you were two weeks ago when you left Florida, when you left the other side of Florida. <laughs> Back then it was like, hold on, I gotta go to that yeah. And now you're like, Yeah, you'll be in the channel, some sand. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see, man. That's good. Because uh I'm you're sure I'm great. gonna look back at it and look like a damn fool. <laughs> no, you're doing great. Well you can just see the change from our first live stream. Very excited, new sailor, nervous to now you're like, Yeah. All right, <laughs> I got places to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like nothing's gonna stop me unless it stops me. So we'll get back. <laughs> Might get a water spout. Oh, if you get a water spout, man, grab that phone and film. <laughs> For sure. Point us at that water spout. Yeah, just take us into like the main part of the bay. Find a good spot to hunker for until we need to. Find any intel on how long it's going to last? Uh, no, I'm pretty useless, man. Sweet. Uh. Let me check, man. Right. Sorry. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Let's see here. Yeah, see, this one won't give it to me. Yes, it's useless. That one's useless, too. you you're like a sailor now chris scanning the horizon taking things that you're like a sailor now man somewhat like that <laughs> yeah, you scanning the horizon grab the speaker all right what are we doing look at you go man <laughs> good job i'm not sure whether one's gonna form or not and then there's two spots where it's getting pretty low Ooh. <laughs> if 
I can't get my hotspot on and use my other phone real fast. Uh-oh. 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 Give me a second. When I get lost here, you start turning on hotspots. It's going to jam everything up. We'll see. Jamming the line here. Yep. Yeah, and then there went the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Knew it. Oh, you're such a comedy. Huh? What's the deal? What app is that? Oh, uh, this is like Houston 13 weather app. Uh, but yeah, you know, I'm, I'm located in the Caribbean. I don't have the Houston local weather handy. <laughs> it's the national radar. Yeah. Discounted. I'll be right back. Oh, that's a buoy. Red, right, return. Red, right, return. <laughs> I'll be right back, man.
storm is looking all omnia omnimus whatever it is now it looks like nothing oh nothing i'm gonna make it past that <laughs> Storm just like disappeared. Yeah, no radar showing it going away. Yeah, I was all excited, man. Got you guys all worked up for nothing. Eh? I know. Welcome to the weather. I thought for sure we'd have at least a show. <laughs> Greg sees the sky leaving. It's like, looks like it's slipped available. <laughs> it looks like by 545, it should pass west of us off the Bay Area. A rip off. Turret's gonna have to give us some further. Uh, I'll get to the channel. Yeah, just red right return. Coming back home. Red's on your right. Green's on your left. You're leaving. What'd you say? Huh? I completely missed what you said last. I was talking to the chat. So we're not making much headway on this buoy at all. Yeah, I know. You guys Dude, just wanted to have a conversation with the buoy?
Watch him go flying off the bow because he's not hooked in. Man, would that make for content or what? Let's get some comments in chat here, ladies and gents. Get this algorithm going. Don't forget to hit that like button. Man overboard. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm saying, man. Just get out of the way. I'm trying to help you out, KB. Would be going over Discord. How many people are on it? <laughs> All right, let's see. He is pulling in right here. Which, for those of you just joining, right here, go right up. So he's going to come in here. I wonder if he's going to try to swing left or right. Port or starboard. Oh, yeah. No worries, man. You got work stuff. No worries. You've anchored on the left here. It's over here. How's this cut? I take the furthest one, I guess. This looks pretty shallow. Nothing there. Yeah. Oh, Sand Island. What's this? Look at this fancy stuff. Sand Island. Sand Island. So don't take the first one. Take the second one. Yeah, he's got to go west. Because he's going to be heading this way. If I was him, I would skip all this nonsense. I just head left. I'm 
mean, I guess you could Uber. Huh. We should do an over under poll of if he runs aground in here. <laughs> Uh, Alabama. Oh, man, he's ah, man, he's right there. It feels like that channel's never coming. He never feel like we're in the same place. How's it going, at Plant? What are you guys making progress? Feels like we're stuck, same place, sitting still. We are all stuck. Very little headway, one to two knots. One knot right now. Considering popping out the side of the channel, throwing the anchor out. Your camera got knocked down. What's up? Your camera got knocked down. It's pointing at the cockpit. Oh. Uh, what's the deal? You got currents or something or what? Uh, we got 14 knot wind on the nose. Oh. Dude, prop that motor up. Spray gas over the interior. Broom. You know? All good things. Oh, yeah. Considering uh, popping outside the channel, throwing an anchor down, left the wind. Do its thing for an hour or two. What's your, uh, you can't, uh, what's your RPM at? You just can't up your RPMs because of the gas leak? No, I'm not, yeah. not with this situation. I lost a tachometer about 800 miles ago. <laughs> so I can, I can go in and I can hold the wire to where it needs to be and check it. That's how I mark a couple of spots on the throttle stick. So we're running about 1500 yeah. right now. Oh, that's why. Yeah. All but topped out before we start blowing black smoke. Uh, okay. So much wind. It looks like you have no wind, but I guess you do. This. Must be that squall. Oh, you're making progress though, I think. Aren't you? Something? Are you still parallel with a buoy? <laughs> no, it's not that same buoy, but I mean, it's 100 yards away. It's not very far. Ah, uh, gotcha. Oh, you're getting closer, man. You're making some headway. Yeah, it's closer. In. Just push now. Yeah, I'm trying to get 
What's that? I felt the wind switch to it. It was just directly in the face, probably picking up the hands. Yeah, a little power motor just cutting them off.
Oh, he didn't lose his sound. He, uh, he just not saying anything. He's coming into the channel here, so it's going to get a little bit rough. Um, but I think he's just paying attention. So you see, going to get rough here for a minute.
Forty-five hundred. No, dude, come on. Oh, it's gonna come over the bow. <laughs> Boom. Oh, it's gonna come in the cockpit in a minute. Decided to do some silliness. <laughs> All right, here we go. Entering. The Pensacola Channel, I guess it's called. I don't know what it's called. You guys can hear me, right? You guys should be able to hear me. I sure hope so. I think it's just KB. Got you, man. I'm going to mute you guys for a second talk to Greg about it. So we drop anchor outside the channel. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I just okay, caught. Start doing stupid things, probably. What? But if it does, it should probably hang up. I don't know what's going to do. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Um. Yeah, we're gonna go hunt for a minute. Let's hang out. Don't those crazy things. Oh yeah, cause you get yeah, don't get wet. Okay, go for it.
Look at that rain coming down. At least the boat gets a nice, uh, uh, nice wash down though. <laughs> oh, the afternoon squall. And look at that. The phone's all clean. Boat's getting clean. Archer rolled in quick. A little bit of a rainstorm. Like it turned just to swallow him. Should be passed relatively soon though. So that'll be nice. I really like a Dexalon. Kevin, he's just outside of uh, the Pensacola entrance right here. I guess it's called the Pensacola Cut. Oh, cut here. Uh, apparently, uh, 
Boom. He's just right here. Oh, what's that doing? Uh, so yeah. He's right over here somewhere right now. And he's got to head left, meet up with KB somewhere. KB will Uber somewhere. Just walk to shore and get picked up or something. Um, yeah, then from there, he's going to cruise through Alabama. Uh-oh, we lost him. I bet his, I bet his, uh, whatchamacallit. I bet his, uh, phone got rained on. Not raining in Panama. Hopefully we'll get him back in a second here. We'll see. Oh, Chris. Puerto Rico. There he is. Hey, Chris. Oh, maybe his phone did it by itself. Chris just stopped by. Uh, how's the deal with YouTube? Sucks, man. Uh, I don't know, Mike. I gotta try again. Tomorrow I can actually try again. See what they say. Uh, if not, it'll be another month. And that'll be devastating. If that happens... I don't know. I don't even want to think about that. Uh, we'll see. See what happens. I'll see what happens. Yeah, I hate... <laughs> I hate having to do that, you know? This thing's already cost me a fortune. Uh, being demonetized. Put my whole boat buying thing, like, long, long ways away. Yeah, anyway, whatever. Uh, let's see. I mean, today, for instance, let me check something just to give you a little insight here. One second. Okay, so for instance, I've been streaming today for three hours and I've made zero money. So that's the bummer with not being monetized is I make no money at all. Unless, you know, like my audience or whatever chips in on my uh, GoFundMe thing, I make zero money. So that's pretty hard. Oh no, we lost him. That's pretty hard if you think about, uh, you know, having to do that again for another month. It keeps on, uh... Boom. Oh no, Travis, you're fine. It's not your guys' fault. It's not your guys' problem. It's just from my perspective, it's like, okay. Like, I barely got through this month, you know? So if I'm still demonetized for another month, I'll probably stop posting. We'll see. I gotta use the restroom. I'll be right back.
All right. So yeah, what month is it? August or September? So even if I were to get reinstated this week, this is my chance or whatever this week. Um, it's September. I wouldn't get a full paycheck until November. If I don't get it this time, I can try again the following month, which would be October. Yeah, and then I wouldn't have a full check until December. So already as it is, best case scenario, I get money again in November. <laughs> it's September <laughs> and I made nothing in August. You're talking months and months and months with no income. Uh, that's a hard thing to deal with. Anyway, not your guys' problem. No, you're fine, man. You don't have to. I'm just saying, just in general, you know, that's the bummer with being demonetized is that, you know, I'd have to harass my audience. Uh, and I don't like to have to do that. You know what I mean? Just do it! Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention to stop what you're doing? Uh, I think I did that <laughs> when I did that. Uh, that was my fault. I hit the uh, thank you there, and I went to hit pause and I guess I hit stop streaming. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Sorry about that, guys. I'm glad you guys told me. I was like, what? What are you talking about? Boom, boom, boom. Yes. Thank you, Tanks. Thanks, Travis, man. Appreciate that. Chris's phone call is lost right now. Uh, anyway, so I was saying thank you guys so much. All that good stuff. So yes, thank you. Lost half my viewers there. Hopefully we'll get Chris back soon. I can still hear him in the background. So he's still technically on the call. He gets just picking up one crew member. Oh. Be buying new... There's stickers up there. I can make a different one. Help info. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Chris in the background is the bummer. Chris. Chris. I can hear him. I don't think he realizes his camera's out. You guys can hear me, right? You guys can hear me, right? Perfect. And occasionally him. Yeah. Yeah, I just I still have the call connected in the background. Uh, his, his camera went off for some reason. 
I'm assuming rain hit it and did some funky stuff. Hopefully we'll get him back soon. Maybe catch a good sunset tonight with Chris. Of uh, the coast of Pensacola Beach. That's where he's going to be. on the 25th floor on a condo I didn't see <laughs> I don't know man I don't know what he's doing what I'm about Chris Chris maybe he muted me I got tired of hearing my voice What must have been last night? That's where he's at right now, man. Right outside the channel. Right outside Pensacola Channel. Uh, Send him a message. Maybe his phone will notify him. You guys want to see an island? Chris, on your new t-shirts, did you ever get the drive? Not yet. He's making good time. Way to go, Chris. Ah, he, he, he's currently anchored outside the channel right now, Kevin, waiting to pull in the channel. Let's see if I can show you guys an island. What do you guys think of that view, huh? Huh? I feel like we're eavesdropping on a private conversation.
he was supposed to be here before he ended up in bed. I must have been just Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what's that doing? Oh, that's the back. How weird is that? back what's up fool we lost you for like 30 minutes uh you're in you're in a hollow tunnel i can't hear hardly anything well we lost you before you lost me yeah i know i see this yeah and now your camera is vertical i know i know i can okay. take the vertical you're a professional <laughs> we got you all right the rain does whatever the hell it wants so, I, I yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, so, I'm how are things going? Uh, so, what'd you guys. Some uh, macaroni and sausages, right? Okay, you can hear me, right? Oh, you're so hollow. Why can't I? Uh, I don't know. I can hang up and. Well. Are you there? Yeah. yeah. Are you there? Uh, well, hell. I think it's on your end. <laughs> How about now? Breaker, breaker. Better? No. I can hear you. You can't hear me. Oh, we got Chris back. Well, that's good. Now let me fix. Okay. Sorry, I was just checking some stuff. Huh. Now Discord's being stupid. You guys can hear me, right? Yeah, I know. I got to fix that. I'm trying to do stuff with my camera.
Okay. Whoa. We got dolphins. You guys see the dolphins? <laughs> What's up? What's I, You can't hear me, but. Can you hear me now? I can hear you, but you can't hear me. Chris, are you there? Yeah, but you can't hear me. Hold on. I think we're just getting completely shafted on this one now. Storm's pretty well died off. And now I've got some lunch made, so. I guess late lunch or whatever. Can you hear me now? Hello? See, died off. Let's see, what's the timing there? 444 now? Um, oh, it's significantly earlier than I thought it would. There's a dolphin chilling right over here. Can you hear me? Oh! Can you hear me? No. I hate this damn thing. What's that? Can you hear me? Barely, man. Like, very, very faintly. My yeah, I gotta fix problem. this. You're fine though. We can see you and I can hear you and I can see the dolphins. Uh, so yeah. And now my little red thing went away. So you should be able to hear me better. Yeah. I can hear you a little better. Yes. Okay. Now. Dolphins off the bow, huh? Oh yeah. Whole pod. I mean, I can count at least 10. Four or five Look at those group. guys acting like they own the joint. Coming to greet us. Oh, great. This is too. An image of pain. Probably the whole group has been following me for hours and hours. They came to guide you safely into the channel. You know, that's the, uh, the group. That's what they were doing. I gotta fix this. I think I haven't watched dolphins for like 10. Yeah, go minutes. eat. Cool. I have technical difficulties anyway. My life is like a technical difficulty. Okay. It's my streaming stuff is what it is because I stream through a software that streams me to YouTube. I have to call Chris through a different app that does video where the video is actually good. I use Skype or something. The video quality is trash. Zoom's video quality is trash. Facebook's video quality is trash. Uh, like when you're doing these video calls. So my members area has a really, really good one. But because of the streaming software, sometimes it'll collide or right, it'll it'll automatically change to some different microphone, uh, which drives me nuts. Does it? It's like when I turn off the camera, turn back on. Oh, you guys see the dolphins? You guys can hear me, right? Oh man, a raindrop just hit the camera. Poof.
Yeah, my man, he's not moving. He should be, but he's not. <laughs> I think they're probably just happy to be closer to shore. Throw the anchor. Hang out. He'll get in there soon enough. SB Allegro. How are you today, sir? You missed our appointment yesterday. Um. What the, uh, oh, that's all right, man. It happens. I get it. Um, I mean, I'll just deduct friendship points. So right now you're gone from friend to acquaintance. That's all. What do the kids think about the uh, logo thing, man? Do you get some good stuff transmitted there? Who's Deenan M? Dina M. I think they just sent me a tip on PayPal. Dina M. Are you here? Dina, 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 Dina. No. Yeah, bro, well, that's a big step too, from friend to acquaintance. Woo. That's like, uh, what's under acquaintance? Someone I know of? They loved it. Nice. And questions? I'm an extreme person, Travis. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in a lot of places, man. I'm <laughs> zero to hero on everything. Did you send me a tip on PayPal? Or was that for a t-shirt or something? Was that for uh, something else? Or was that a tip? What was that? Ah, shoot. Ah, legend. Thanks, man. I was trying to uh, check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention to stop what you're doing and listen? Just do it! Just! Thanks, Dean. Appreciate it. What's up? Well, give a huge tip if you can talk Chris into jumping. I was just thinking about that. As soon as he comes back, I'm going to yell at him. I'm like a little pissed off. You didn't jump in the ocean with the dolphins and the phone. 
The phone's water resistant. Get after it, dude. Huge tip if you can talk Chris into jumping halfway into the water. Oh, that'd be epic. Uh, okay. As soon as he comes back on, I'm going to tell him. And we'll see how much of a friend Chris is. Because if he knows it's going to get me a huge tip, he should be on. Hey, Chris. What's up? Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, lightly. Hey, uh, so we have, uh, we have a situation. What's that? Well, I have a person in chat right now that is willing to give me a huge tip if I can talk you into jumping in the water. I mean, okay. So what I'm going to need from you, buddy old pal, is okay. to jump in the water with those dolphins. <laughs> Okay. You know? Uh, yeah. That'd be legendary. How does this benefit me? I guess on the channel. Well, I mean, you're on the members area. You've gotten crew, exposure. There's a lot. Yeah. It does benefit me. It's kind of a two-way street, I think, right? I hope. I hope so. I get you on that. Um, the dolphins are not right here. Well, you know, just pretend that they are. Okay. You know? Uh, I mean, if you wouldn't mind, you know. And then they also said the dolphins are over here on the other side. Give us just a second. They also said they'll buy you dinner. Don't you worry, buddy. I won't let you down. Did you hear me? They said they'd buy you dinner. I can't hardly hear you. What? They said they'd buy you dinner. Oh, righteous. Well, yeah. you just hold your dolphins then. It's your goddamn ass in the water. No. <laughs> He's tying himself a safety rope. I think the dolphins are on the other side. I don't know. He just said a big tip. But at this point, man, $5 to me is a huge tip. So uh, I'm okay with anything. You know? I think he might switch the phone over to the other side where the dolphins are, and then he'll probably jump in after him. Let's just get this turned over here. Mm. Those dolphins at, bro. I bet you Greg's probably going to be a better cameraman than this stand. Give me a second. 
They're over here still. They're Ooh, off and get your happy ass in the water with them. Get your happy ass in the water. All right. <laughs> we will get this on a better camera. In high def. Go, go. Go say hi to him. Welcome to another episode of Chasing Latitudes. Today on the Discovery Channel, Chris is going to swim with dolphins. And they were right next to the boat, too. That was cool. There goes Chris. Oh, what a guy. What a guy. How bad's that current? You have a rope, Chris? I hope. What's up? What's up? That yes. current's ripping. Oh, he's got a rope. Yeah, okay. Yeah, report knots probably in current. Yeah, I was like, wow, man. That current is shredding. Oh, you know, dolphins are right behind you. Dolphins. <laughs> they ran away. Go to the other side. You guys must be surrounded by a pot of dolphin. Uh oh, we lost video. No video. We lost video. It took off on me, guys. We lost, lost uh, video. we lost video, Chris. Oh, no. We had to, I though. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's going to tap the power button. One there. Swipe up. Chris. Might have to wipe it. Screen light source or something. Oh man. Oh, water on the stream. What you got? Is it working now? Ah, how cool, man. How fast is that current, dude? That current was ripping, it looked like. Um, it was 12 seconds from the nose to the tail, and the fender that I tied off vanished whenever I tested it so <laughs> you know but here's one more for you Chris just wanted to get in the water and yeah, that current's moving uh oh we're not full screen Yeah. Nice in there. A lot of dolphins out there. Oh, right yeah. there. Look at those guys. They're right behind me now. <laughs> Wondering what the hell I'm doing in our second time. Yeah, they're like, what's <laughs> that guy doing? <laughs> Tip this man. Tip that man. <laughs> Thanks, my dude. I appreciate that. For sure. Scoop up that line now. Just do it! Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention to stop what you're doing and listen? Uh, 
That was cool, Chris. Thanks, man. Totally, dude. It was fun, too. Well, you'll have some uh, video now. On my end. I'll send it to yeah. you. Because uh, one, you we were in the water for a second. They popped up, like, right behind you. Really? Awesome. Get that rotated again. Cool. That camera's much better on the other side, man. Can you flip that? Oh, yeah. Back, and then can you flip that back around and point it at yourself, maybe? Yeah. Um, then just point that one at yourself. Like there you go, man. That's a way better <laughs> camera. Uh, yeah, there are four or five, I guess, high quality cameras on the back of this phone. There we go. Can you see me? Because I can't see if you can see me. Yeah, no, you're perfect, man. Right on. So right, yeah, right there, you're basically in center of frame. Yeah, much better camera. We're going to have to uh, use this one in the future, I think. Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, I wanted to, but. Yeah, it's hard, well, probably hard because you can't see yourself, so it makes it weird. You're like, yeah, where so am I? Yeah, I, I got to get like a, a mirror on the other side. <laughs> yeah. You know. Pockets okay. all came out. Let's try to leave, but we kept those right but turds, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Cheers. Cheers, man. So, uh, what are you guys doing? Just kind of catching your breath? You're going to head into the channel, you think, or? Oh, uh, yeah. We'll head in now. Um, Ooh, man. I mean, it's completely clear out here. Yeah, that was a pretty um, wild little squall that came through. I know. And it left faster than uh, red radar even said it would. Yeah. 4:45. It was pretty well done. Just blowing the rest out. Dolphins go. We got birds walking off back here. Man, what a cool adventure oh, you're on. <laughs> I mean, really, man. I'm je I'm even jealous. I'm like this mother French toast. <laughs> Heard a guy say, don't be a potato. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the funniest I've heard in a long time, man. <laughs> he was a potato. <laughs> Dude, I, that ha that all came about from a live stream like two years ago. Really? Somebody uh, popped in my stream like trying to troll. And I had just <laughs> ate. And I had just had like french fries. And I forgot what happened. He said something. And I was like, man, I just had French fries. I don't need any more potatoes. Uh, and like since that day, that's just the tagline for the channel. Don't be a potato, man. Potato bot. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got like, you know, like when I do the potato on camera and stuff, it's out of control. It's grown into its own monster. It's its own monster. It's awesome. I'm definitely going to steal the reference. <laughs> It's not improper use either. I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah. Oh, it'd be copyright. I'll claim it as copyright. Huh? Oh. That's trademark of Ron Burgundy. Exactly. Do you still still see the dolphins spouting off back there? Not really. They're just playing around. I think they're just off to the uh, left of the camera. Gotcha. Let's see if we can get you in. Oh, we can now, yeah. Okay. I saw them. Yeah, I can see them. Yep. Oh, a full breach. They're just yeah. going and going. They're just having a they're just having at it out there. Oh. There's a bunch of them too. Yeah, dude. It it's, looked I like wish you it were black clearer. They're pretty green down there. Yeah, I mean, it looked like you were in a pod of like a hundred dolphins or something. It's pretty wild. Yeah, there were a lot. They were on both sides of me for a while, I guess, all around us. Um, I mean, I counted like 15 before I'd walked away that one time. So that's cool. That's cool, man. Yeah. What an adventure. <laughs> Indeed. Can't let you down. No, you really came through today, Chris. Today, you really came through. What a guy. What a guy. I guess you can stay. Oh, what? Oh, oh, nice. There's a fort. What fort is that? Do you know that's uh, over here on the beach? 
Uh, There's a cannon. Fort Morgan. Beach. Fort Morgan? Yeah. Well, that's nice, too. Oh, Captain Morgan. Yeah. I haven't had any rum on this boat. That'll be a closer. Well, get after it, bro. I mean, I got two bottles of scotch. So I, uh, I didn't come prepared with the rum yet. That's okay. They had a yeah. scotch sale in uh, Clearwater, so I got two. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And let's see if I can't get you turned around to the, the port. I'm just surprised how much better that forward camera is. Dude, there, uh, seriously, there's an infrared camera, there's a small, like, I don't know, camera, there's three others. Um, and oh. they, it's basically a 3D setup, so it's going to be significantly better quality. I think it's and set this... up to like 104 megapixels or some nonsense whenever it does all its own math. And this whole time you've been using the selfie bad camera. <laughs> I've been bogarting the good this stuff. This guy, unbelievable. Waiting on the show. <laughs> yeah, just waiting for the right day or what? <laughs> Saving it for my YouTube. No. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Just hold out until I get there. Just got some rails in the shot. Not great. All right, all right. Do some more shifting here. Getting shifty. telling you guys I need like six more of these damn mounts or just a completely different camera setup yeah I think six more of these mounts would be significantly more cost-effective we should ask the accountant <laughs> bet I know what she says stop spending money on that boat <laughs> uh oh there's the threads Dang, I guess you guys probably could have seen a lot more cool stuff with the storms at the uh, with these cameras because they do look a little bit better in this tiny screen that I've got too. Yeah, you know, I think there's going to be a deduction for that. It's a deduction. You lose points in the yeah. previous film. Well, I just downgraded <laughs> somebody in chat from friend to associate, so. <laughs> The other day, I kicked somebody off the members area and banned him, so I'm on a roll, man. <laughs> yeah! Trolling the trolls. <laughs> Who's gonna slip today? Chris is gonna get you. Yeah. <laughs> man, that was really fun. See? You're like, what do I get out of this? <laughs> you just hold your horses. Hold your horses, you'll Just see. Hold on, you're going to enjoy this. Yeah, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> you always got to ask the question, how will this benefit me? And if it won't, uh, you might try it anyway. <laughs> sure. Oftentimes it can. Yeah. You may not be able to see it right now. But yeah, I definitely lost a fender. Um, somewhere beyond 12 seconds beyond the tail of the boat. Oh, really? I said, oh, that square knot is undone. Whoops. Yeah, they were slightly different size lines. They weren't exactly the same size. And it slipped. Ooh, let's see if this camera picks up a rainbow. Noise. Oh, I can see it. I can make it Check pop. Check it more. out. I think I can make it pop more too. Uh, one second. Ooh. I don't think I've ever had a phone that could pick up a rainbow like that. You know, or like any good detail and distance. I'm pretty, pretty yeah. impressed. They better start paying me for talking this phone up, dang it. <laughs> yeah, trust me. I've been trying to get Beneteau to pay me for uh, years. They hate me. <laughs> hey. 
<laughs> we uh, we were watching Captain Ron again, and we we're pretty sure that Beneteau paid to make that movie because they're the <laughs> ones who benefited in the '90s from all of all of it. Nice and chill now. No qualms, no squalls. Yeah, let's get in the right, channel. Let's... Are we going, boys, or what? Let's go. Let's, let's we... fire this pig up. It's like all our right. meal's all set. We're ready to go. Where's the entree? Where's the entree? <laughs> yep, I'm going to go ahead and probably fire up and start heading in there. Give us a sec. I was just wrong. Wait, what happened? I was just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, editing, man, it's a full time job in itself. It's pretty wild. Really. I mean, you, you watch tanks. It took me days man just to figure out a logo uh, <laughs> yeah allegro you're right there aren't you go hop on chris's boat get a free sail by free, I mean supply the rum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are fired. We are right there. Got some avionics on lock. We'll be drawing anchor now. Ready, there Greg? There we go. Oh, let me get some shoes. Don't forget to point us towards the bow. Shoes below deck. And new view. What do you think, Greg? What you got? Okay. Oh, 
Off bottom. All righty. We're in gear, folks. Iceberg, straight ahead. Iceberg, straight ahead. <laughs> We're giving her all she's got. Yeah. I don't have any more power. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. And you're cruising. Yes, sir. Back in action, Yeah, his phone's got really, really good uh, background noise reduction or whatever. Oh, man. Phenomenal. Although, whenever you want it to happen, nobody can hear what's going on around you. <laughs> yeah. Like, Do you hear this concert? Absolutely not. Yeah, no. Sorry, <laughs> don't, don't hear anything. <laughs> I was walking, dude, I was walking in front of the DJ booth, in front of some speakers <laughs> in uh, Clearwater talking to my wife and I was like you're kidding me right you're, you're serious there's no way that you can't hear this she was like nope and I started singing the lyrics a little bit and as I said the lyrics with it it picked up the background music but that's the only way that it picks up anything in the background it basically is if you make it the foreground <laughs> Shoot, that was a blast. Don't challenge me with a good time. Yeah. You're like, uh, I don't know. I'm like, get your happy ass in the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep, now look at you. You're like, oh, you man, that me. was a lot of fun. Huh? I'm like, duh. You got me. <laughs> you got yep. me. <laughs> All right. Now, are you gonna? You gonna go left towards? Now we're Al gonna do the same thing. Oh Alabama? what? Alabama? You gonna go left towards Alabama? No, I'm heading that direction at the moment. <laughs> I just gotta get into that channel and clear depth because I don't have GPS in front of me. Yeah, no, that's what I was wondering. Man, that was one of my good fenders, too. <laughs> so wait, how'd you lose the fender? You tied it on a rope and your knot was Yeah, crap? so I tied it off so that I could count the uh, current and how long it was, like how strong it was and just judge that because, you know, that's wise. Or you just hop in. So you were trying to do... To do what? Uh, to math. just test it, to see how fast it would go. And then I would pull it in and whenever I started to pull the rope in, the fender never came to me. Trying to do it some just math, kept on going. Huh? 
What's that? Trying to do some math for the current, eh? Yeah. Yeah. No math no, today. Safety first, buddy. No math today. No math today. That there would be no math. What you got? Oh, a barge, yeah. No doubt. Barge coming out or is the barge going in? Still not to the channel yet. <laughs> That was definitely the best decision to hang out out that outside of the channel. That was just a nuisance trying to force our way in there. And I got to swim around the dolphins. I didn't get to see any down there, but I got to swim near them. What's our battery looking like? Twenty four percent. Mind staying the channel for a minute? I guess it's charging. What's up? We've detected moisture or foreign material in your charging port. You don't say. Oh, I love it when phones do that. And it's like, eh. <laughs> I'd just, rather not charge. <laughs> I'm like, just charge, phone. No one cares just, about your feelings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come on. You can do it anyway. <laughs> How many times will I plug it in and it fails? Well, every time I pull the charger out, there's, it's doused with water, so that's definitely a thing, apparently. Oh, yeah. True. Oh, yeah. Total failure. So we have 24% of battery worth of chat time, folks. Well, it's a good thing you get a nice phone. That 24% probably lasts us an hour. Let's hope. Let's hope. Unless, of course, it's like my phone. Once it reaches 25%, it just instantly is at zero. <laughs> <laughs> what goes, are you working with over there? Uh, An old yeah. iPhone? No, I have a... It's This one's really not that bad. I have a... I don't know what it is. A Google Pixel <laughs> 6, I think? Oh, man. Samuel was talking. He wanted his Pixel back. <laughs> Samuel just switched to an iPhone. Uh, oh, and bummer, I've dude. i been talking about it. He was like, man, I really want my Pixel back so bad. But now what? I owe him for this iPhone. <laughs> That's the thing, man. I had a, this is like years ago, but I had the note something or other, whatever it was yeah. then. And I, for some Notes reason, awesome. I got suckered into the hole. Let's buy an iPhone. So I bought oh. an iPhone and I was like, oh, this blows, man. And then, <laughs> and then uh, the next day it comes out and like, iPhone's number one. Thanks yeah. to everyone buying iPhones. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, just because everybody buys like, this oh. doesn't mean it's good. 
So <laughs> then I switched back and I had a, a Note 9 or a 10 for a while. And it was great, yeah. but it was just... They're fantastic. I thrashed it. So like, it was uh, like that. It would never charge. I had to get a uh, one of those perfect. chargers you lay it on to charge. Yeah. the port My wouldn't charge like anymore. <laughs> <laughs> or it was for a long time. She jammed a charger in there, and I guess there was like sand or a shell or some nonsense. Yeah. So I did had to do that, <laughs> and then um, the battery. It was like yeah, like if you got below forty percent, it was just boom zero. It and it would there. take like twenty four hours to charge it all the way oh, on that yeah. solar charger thing. It would um, take twenty four hours to charge like that. Well, yeah, I have one of those. Whack things like you lay it on to charge and up yeah. that thing would take days <laughs> um, man i haven't returned my i haven't returned my other phone from whenever i upgraded right before this trip and whenever this happens i have the other phone charged so that i can use it for uh, wireless power sharing there you, go. <laughs> there you go yeah and so oh, this i think i don't know how do you find out what phone you have isn't it in settings let me see i mean you just happen to know because you use your phone all the time. <laughs> I don't, I, know, I don't pay way. attention. I don't pay attention to things I buy. I just buy things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, this Wait, is the good, good one? one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm like, oh, sounds good. <laughs> um, and I was actually. See, the problem is, I was on the way to the store to go look at phones, and then I left my note in the Uber, and I was like, well, oh. I guess I'm buying a new phone. So I walked to T-Mobile. <laughs> I had the Uber chop me off, and I walked across the street to T-Mobile. I'm like, all right, what do we got? And I was looking at the prices as phones. This is like a year ago. And I'm like, are you guys out of yeah. your mind? You guys are yeah, buying $1,200 phones. $1, yeah, I'm like, what? Yeah. I'm like, absolutely not. I'm like, where's like a reasonable phone? And it's, it was this one. And like, I just don't remember if it's a Pixel or a Pixel 6 or... And I'm looking through my... Yeah. Google's oh. got them. Yeah, it should be deep in like settings and... uh user info phone info or something yeah i'm trying to i'm looking right now uh, back up device care phone. or something yeah it'd be somewhere in there right about phone oh pixel 6 that's what there I you got. go pixel 6. See, now so you I take a great picture it uploads directly to google drive but otherwise it sucks well, now I feel shame because you have a fancy new phone. So <laughs> now I shame. I just came off the uh, Note 10 Plus, and they wouldn't give me a new one because they sold them all or whatever, and they've now upgraded to this version, which is the same size, and it's got a pen, which I use the pen all the time. I, oh. I handwrite notes like it's out of style. So what you're <laughs> saying is the S22 is a Note? Yeah, yeah, the S22 Ultra is the new Note 10. Note 10 Plus. And it's However, if you have a Note 10 and you want it to upgrade it the, or uh, warranty it, they've still got plenty of those. So that's what my wife will be getting, apparently, because she has to upgrade hers soon due to broken things. See, now I just have to find... What's the phone sell for these days? Uh, I think it was like twelve ninety nine or some stupid thing. It's thirty three dollars a month. That sounds that absurd. Is. Yeah, that's how they get you. Thirty three bucks a month from now until the end of yeah. time. <laughs> until forever. <laughs> yeah. How yeah, often looking... do you use your phone? Yeah. Um, often enough for that, apparently. But yeah, like I'm looking right now, and I'm like, eh. yeah, hundred. I mean, the amount of things. A hundred and eight megapixel wide camera. And your, ass, and your ass was using the selfie camera. Somebody ought to peel <laughs> hole you. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Yeah, I, I can't even wrap my brain around what you were doing there. <laughs> I am sailing, man. There are many things going True. on here. Uh, that's very fair, fair enough. I'm trying to, uh, you know, I can never Shameless. get the price. Like you pull it up and it just says $16.99 a month. Oh no! You want the retail price, dude? They're gonna tell you it's like fourteen ninety nine ninety nine ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah, exactly. Point nine 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 nine. Bastards! 
Never ending nines, <laughs> like pi. Just never ending numbers. Let's go. <laughs> never ending numbers. 108 meg. I can't get over that. 108 oh, megapixel know, wide man. camera, and you were using the selfie camera? <laughs> what the fuck? I swear I've had it on the other camera. Unbelievable, at some point. dude. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's like, screw the audience. I want to be able to see myself in the screen. Okay. Look at All right. me. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm sure I could probably what? get like 50 bucks for my phone. <laughs> <laughs> right, like, yeah, yeah, you can trade it in. Uh, no, yeah, that's what they, cash, yeah. that's what they did uh, my last camera. They were like, oh, yeah, just send us our, your camera. We'll give you oh, a credit. <laughs> and I had to call yeah, them. Like, total, I'm, like, I'm like, what's with the low credit number? Oh, your thing has a smudge. I'm like, how about I smudge your face on the pavement, dude? <laughs> Like, okay, we, uh, if you go ahead and cross the sea and come see us, then our center is well, in the middle of Australia. I had just bought that camera from Adorama Camera. I missed my 30-day return window by, like, a week. Uh, so I had to dude. resell it to them, and they gave me, like, 30% of what I had just paid for the camera. I'm like, you guys are out of control, and I'll never do business with you again. <laughs> yeah, for real. I'm going to advertise so people don't go to you. Yeah, that was my thing. I'm like, don't ever buy an Adorama camera. Ever. <laughs> That's rough. The, and then B&H camera, I had bought something from them. I don't remember what, a lens or something. Or a camera or something. And uh, I did the same thing with them. And I was like, hey, man. I decided I want to swap this for something else. But I missed a return window for a couple weeks. A couple weeks ago, what are my options? And he's like, oh, just send it back, man. We'll give you full credit. I'm like, oh, you're a legend. <laughs> you, Adorama, go and B&H all the time. <laughs> nice. This is advanced, is as advanced as I get with cameras. I purchased this, and it's really good. Yeah. Point and shoot. <laughs> That's what the world should be. Point, Point and, and shoot. <laughs> yeah. Same thing with sailing. There's it should technology just be... for that. Yeah. Push button sailing, <laughs> point and shoot cameras, call it a day. Uh, I legitimately was like, all right, so with all this technology, I can set my course, I can set my turns, I can set my routes. Why will you not just automatically follow it? Exactly. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that there's a way, but I, it, it's more advanced than me. Could be. Here, check this out. I'm going to show you. Well, I, you won't be able to see it, but my audience. Oh, everyone else can see it. Except you. <laughs> well, that is like, yeah. Check this out audience at a full moon i think right oh uh, we should tonight i believe my moon's behind uh some pink clouds here oh you do some good some good snaps there well i'm uh I'm, i got it on camera Look at these pelicans. I mean, what do we got? 19, about 19 or 20 pelicans here. So the deal. More incoming. They were just swirling all the way around the beach and then they came right for me. They pulled over for the storm too, Greg said. <laughs> Just hanging out on the beach. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, 
That moon looks cool. <laughs> you can see the current behind this buoy. Yeah, the current was it's ripping like, like when you jumped in the water. Yeah, I mean, I had 12 seconds on the on, on my lost fender, and I probably only had eight or ten when I jumped in. We don't have any wind. It's just the current rippling against us right now. You guys can see that. Wow. I don't know what the tides are right now. Looks like they're headed out. That 35 knots. Yeah, we got a good current. Uh, probably going two knots. <laughs> must have your phone on the old uh, engine mount thingy one, huh? What's up? You must have your phone on the one that's by the engine? Oh, uh, why is it? Bouncy? Yeah, it's like it's at a strip club. Shaking. <laughs> I'm not shaking this moneymaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do a lot of things, buddy. <laughs> My moon picture looks like it could be a painting. Send it. She'll paint it. Well, it's on my screen right now. It's uh, coming out from behind a cloud. Wait. It's about to be pretty cool. That steady the camera at all? Yes, sir. A million bucks. Bricks. I just tied a line around the back. Gave it a her, little. Her, your oh, phone's cushion. your phone's dad is no longer disappointed. No more shaking. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's great. <laughs> All the best references today. You know, we try. <laughs> Is that a swarm of masks over there? Sure it is. Oh, it says battery 15%. Alright, let me mute it and see if I can get rid Excuse of some me? of this. Let's say 15%? Transfer that charge, sir. We got things to do. Look at this moon. Moon's just going for it tonight. Whole other sky's all pink. Man. Whole stream has been extremely nice, man. Glad to hear it. We're not gonna get any charging out of this. What? Gasp. Huh? Gasp, indeed. You can't transfer phone battery? I cannot. Uh, the way that I got it set up, I can't put them back to back. Oh, does one have to sit on the other one for a while to transfer? Yeah, they have to, yeah, they face back to back in order to do wireless, just like you set it on a pad or whatever. Yeah. And then when you yeah. just try to plug it in right now, it just goes bonk bonk. Phone's wet. Yep. <laughs> Foreign material or water detected. Sad day, man. Indeed. So hopefully we can get into the channel before this 15 runs out. Because 10 percent so. only took a uh, thing 100 feet or whatever. Yeah, not long. Moon of the century outside right now.
Sure is bright. Jeez. Got the sun coming down over on this side. Yeah, we're going to miss the sunset too because you got no battery. Of course. <laughs> now I have to flip my mount again. Let's help you can. Oh no, we lost you for a second. Oh, <laughs> you're going to have a good sunset tonight too. Indeed, we are. Man, you better get that other phone in the back of this phone. Hold them. Uh, I don't know. I, if, if I do that, it blocks the camera. Huh? Oh, oh, valid, valid. Um, not this camera, I guess. We'll see what we can do here. Let's see. I like the teamwork. We got a sun sunset one place, and a moonrise at the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm switching Blink back. I'm switching back between your camera and my camera. I got the sun going down at yours. The moon coming up over here. <laughs> nice. Oh. This other one's at twenty-three percent, but it won't let me do it under thirty. So I'm just battling. The end of the day. Can you see through the hole up here? Oh, totally. Nice. So I have a shade. It's like a tinted I mean, little window. This. Huh? Who? Plug this in, see if I can't get some charge.
a moonshot. I'm about to see the craters. Quite the moon tonight, huh? through the Dodger moon <laughs> bro what oh wait how's the charging Views great no I tried <gasps> I tried to take an air pump to the charging hole and everything oh. didn't work out Man. That way you guys didn't just hear. <laughs> We'd have been alright with them. It probably would have canceled it out. It wasn't me talking or something, you know? <laughs> probably. And you're going to have an epic sunset, too. turn off of it you'll uh, be able to see a lighthouse over here and then behind us I'll flip it to the good camera where you'll be able to keep seeing the sunset until it dies off no sunset for you I think is what they say Dallas B, David R, Travis F, Mark R. Oh, Mark was issued. Travis F, David R, Dallas B. Oh, look at that. We can see the sun right through your Dodger. Ah, oh, man. What a guy. What a view. <laughs> How cool, man. It's a great view through those little things. Well, yeah, it looks really cool on stream right now. Does it? Awesome. Because the sun's right in the middle of that Dodger hole. <laughs> Sweet. I'm like right behind it looking. I see you. I see your angle now. That's, Pretty that's epic. great. Nice. I haven't even known that was there until today. Like that, that angle. Pretty cool. Building that pretty regularly. Holy cow. We made it to a red buoy finally. Gosh, headway. Dude, <laughs> earlier it was like you were going in reverse. I was like, man, are you <laughs> moving? Where we might have been. Yeah, you're like, well, we're going to anchor. Looked... <laughs> <laughs> Instead of trying anymore, <laughs> we're going to try to what not. we're going to do is anchor. Looks like some nice dunes over there. Rippable dunes. Really disappointed in this camera battery situation. Ah, oh, me too, man. Me too. We have many things gonna, going. Then they're going to rely on me to entertain them. And I'm just going to be like, well, oh. going to the store. <laughs> <laughs> going Bye. <to> the store. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Gotta go with some beverages. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guys. Poor stream. Poor stream. What do we got here? We got, uh, ooh. Oh, I've been streaming four and a half hours, so. For how long? Four and a half hours. Oh, wow. I and realized I that one time we were in like six or seven hours. We're like, oh, oops. <laughs> yeah, I did a stream the other day. It was, uh, 10 or 11 hours. I'm like, this is just. On that hunter? Uh, well, it's like. Normally, like, like I'll stream with you or something, and then you'll stop and go do something. I'll stream for another five or six hours. 
So it's oh, like sweet. some of my streams end up being wildly inappropriately long. <laughs> and then I send someone the link and they're like, for real? Yeah, no. If I leave them up on my channel, people go, really, dude? I don't have eight hours. I'm like, well, bro. <laughs> like, come on. Yeah. What part do I watch? Yeah, I'm like, don't worry. I, it takes me a while to cut them down. Just bite-sized pieces. And then somebody goes, oh, man, only 10-minute video. I'm like, okay, first of all, man, 10-hour video is too long. 10 minutes too short. Like, what can I do for you today? Then you tell me what I need to do. How did this work? I do have another uh, potential crewman lined up in Florida. I'm just kind of waiting to hear from him. He said he was going to call at 6 o'clock. I'm uh, surprised. See, that's the thing. People always ask me, like, oh, how do I crew? How do I crew? And then I throw out a chance to crew and it, crickets. I'm like, dude. Crickets. Don't ask me about crewing then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Throw the kids to the wife, tell the job to piss off, and go crew. Yeah. For one week and then try to get back to your life. It's fine. <laughs> Do we have the lighthouse yet? No. Hmm. Where's it at? Off the port? I see it, I think. I don't know what I see. I see a big tall something. A black cylinder next to oh, the red and white checkerboard water towers. I see it, yeah. See, just with one jump, now you got me thinking. <laughs> like, hmm, I can jump off the top of this thing next time. <laughs> That's like, what you what should we're doing. Yeah, I, I added grip tape up there because the last time we jumped, I felt a slip right at the edge of my toe, right at the very end of my jump. Like, hmm, yeah. getting grip tape for the next time that happens. <laughs> and so I did. It's added and it's ready. See, the bummer is, man... For you, it's easy to stream because I can call you and control it from the computer. Um, yeah. The bummer is when you're on a boat and you try to stream, you can't. You don't have service. Your phone has yeah. service and you can hotspot to like your laptop. The hotspot won't provide enough juice or if it will, you will rip through data. Uh, like one yeah. stream will burn like, you know, 15, 20 gigs of data and usually hotspots are like 15 gigs. You got to pay more. Um, yeah. So that's the bummer, man. It's like, it's hard when you're trying to do it by yourself from a boat. It's like, yeah, you know. I can see that. Well, it's just you have no way to get service to the computer to stream from the computer. And that's what you really need to do is stream yeah, from the computer cool, so feet. that you can have uh, all your other stuff, highlight comments, answer questions, all that stuff. Um, in real time and not have it load forever whatever. yeah if you're trying to just do it from a phone it's like wait what <laughs> and then it just ends up being a person talking into their phone and you're like okay alright oh it's this guy again <laughs> yeah. it takes a village uh, I'll be right back Thanks.
I left. And Chris, Chris pulled cameraman on us, huh? <laughs> I shifted with you. <laughs> <laughs> Chris pulled cameraman. You know, I learns a few things. Next thing you know, ladies and gentlemen, it's Steven Spielberg on live stream today. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Man, we are down to 7%. I don't like the sound of that. It's I was really hoping we were going to catch the, the sunset, man. I thought so. Yeah, we got to make sure we make this channel marker before we go turn it. True. True. Yes, somebody didn't have a hundred percent when they started streaming today, did they? Someone had like eighty-six percent when they started streaming today. So but fourteen percent less than you should have. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> this is evident. Oh, and our sun's getting covered up by clouds now. That boat behind That's you is like. I guarantee that boat behind you is like, God damn it. Why do we have to get stuck behind the blowboater? <laughs> Stupid blowboater. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There See, we go. Now, what a view this would have been. You could have planted the phone up there. Bingo. Yeah, if I just had my arm here the whole time. Oh, you got a, <laughs> you got a phone charger or holder thing? Uh, none of these rails up here is small enough for it. They're too big. Hmm. I could maybe hang it off the AIS unit right back there, which is tucked between those panels hmm. like I was talking about. Hmm. Shit, what it sounds like is a lot of lack of preparation today. Um, Bro. <laughs> just kidding, man. <laughs> Things got real today. <laughs> You're like this guy. <laughs> we had 24 hours of just, like, not knowing what these storms even were because they never showed up anywhere. <laughs> It's a great advertisement for Garmin right now. Garmin's like, whoop, whoop. You know? <laughs> Again, with the free ad space. <laughs> I know. Gonna have to just make stickers that say, your product here. Uh, <laughs> email this number. Right? Just blank this out. The G, like, G and N only. Like, your name here. Yeah. Would you like to be sponsored? Your name here. <laughs> yep. The guy in the, the boat next to us. Oh no! Is it gone? Dang. He was taking my picture though. Oh, was he? Yeah. Can you still see? Uh, yeah. Sweet. I'll leave it there. I don't have any screen. It, it opted me out. Oh, your screen So, did? uh, thanks for joining. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I have no visuals on my side. We have a couple more minutes of this Picasso sky. More like a Claude Monet <laughs> tonight, but there you go. Man, that was that's gonna be a killer sunset. Yeah, it is. <sighs> you know. <laughs> I know. If I can get off of here and maybe get some life in it, I'll I'll uh, bring it back here. Well, what's your other phone doing? What's your other phone's percent? It's charging. It's charging. It's at thirty-three. Can Let I just see. call you right back on that phone? Uh, no, because it's, no, uh, not. shoot, how could we do that? No, it's hotspot via this phone. Oh, oh. Yeah. Bummer. These guys are riding off into it. Yeah, they're all, that's the way everybody needs to be doing, right off into the sunset. Going catch it. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a great one. It's get really going to be, dude. And we're going to miss it. Because, oh. uh, you know. Be as yeah. rapid as possible. Things happen. <laughs> Thanks for having me on again, dude. This has been. Super fun. Of course, man. Of course. You guys gonna... So you're just gonna anchor out tonight, probably, right? Yeah. Pull up for fuel. Some of those these spots close around 7, so we'll get fuel first and then find a place nearby to anchor off. 
There you go. I'm sure there's a pile of sailboats somewhere right off the side of one of these marinas. But yeah, some people were saying they just pulled like right through the channel, hung a left, but... Uh, or like anchored right there. I don't know what they were doing. Something around there. Yeah, there looks like there's a lot of spots. One of these spots that I thought was a bunch of masks looks like it's the Navy parking lot. Uh, let's not show that before the phone dies. <laughs> <laughs> Man, bummer. Yeah, super I cool. I can't believe we can't plug in your phone, man. Man. If I could, if I walk away, this one's going to die before I can get to the other one. It's like guaranteed. Murphy will get it. Well, yeah, I'm just surprised that, you know, it's still wet. Well, I'm not surprised, but bummer, it's still wet. <laughs> From that storm? Like, <laughs> it's going to get right in. I mean, we have quite a while for that sunset, man. Yeah. Probably like uh, an hour, I'm guessing. Yeah. Hour or more. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Give me a moment. To see if I can we get the beat Murphy to it. Birds off the stern. Ah, I think we lost him. <laughs> I don't think we lost him, I think. I think he's trying something. Hold on. And I'm trying to do something else. I'll wait and see. Should be he should be right here ish. Died, died. I think his phone died, died. See here. There we go.
Ooh, somebody ordered a shirt. Ah. All right, ladies and gents, what's up? You guys want to, uh, you're showing, I don't know where the hell I'm at. That's right off Pensacola. Man. This right up Pensacola, Fort Morgan. No, I'm one over. My bad. Here. My bad. Good call. Well, I can leave you guys up while I run to the store if you want. If Chris figures out how to charge his phone, he can call me back. Uh, I'm glad you pointed that out, Let. I didn't even realize that. Uh, let me see here. Okay, yeah. I can leave this up while I walk to the store. See if Chris can get some battery. Uh, so we can do that. Let's do that. I'll be back in a few. Hey, tanks. Oh, I gotta grab energy drinks. Uh, you just gotta let the chat know I went to the store. Uh. Alright, this will work.
one million dollars. That's how much it takes. All right, we're back. Boom, boom, boom. No word from Chris. Chris is MIA. Chris is MIA. Oh, there he is. Ah, uh, just some garbage purple monsters. 734, 734, 733. Answer the phone, you potato. Hello, please. We're waiting on you. I said he's ready to go. Like a minute ago, he said he was ready to go. A minute ago. What's up? What's up, bro? How'd you get some juice? Uh, my juicing. <laughs> I thought, hey, fair enough. Let me, um... 20% and charging actively. Let me swap this over. Let me, uh... Oh, whoa, whoa. Wrong one. Yeah, oh, Chris, it's so good to see you. Well. Yeah, thanks. See if I can adjust this cord a little more, get us some slack, and I will be at the helm. No worries, I just gotta adjust my stuff and we're good. Should be. All right, you guys can uh, hear me, right? Chris's view, man. We're in for a treat of a sunset tonight, ladies and gents. We are in for a treat. going in the channel and imagine where he's going now he's got to be uh i don't know where he's uh let's check his uh position Last known position was 15 hours ago, ladies and gentlemen. 15 hours. Yep, it's not updating. He's up here somewhere. I don't know where Greg's at. I think I accidentally deleted my Greg thing. Let's, uh, let's do this. A little better view. Excuse me, it's Greg here. What's 
think he's doing about 600 miles an hour based on how fast that water's moving. Oh, Father Tech, good to see ya. Man, you missed swimming with dolphins earlier. All kinds of stuff. What is that sun doing in the background? Let's adjust. It's a little better. So, Father Tech, how was the uh, thingy? The survey, all good? Just need some batteries? How many? House batteries? Starter? Three, four, five, seven? What? Because you know what that means, Father Tech. It's time to negotiate. I think Chris just wanted to be seen as a captain, right? Now. Like, that's it. Got the phone set up on me. I'm the captain of this vessel. And rightfully so, Chris. Rightfully so. Yeah, I went through the rainstorm of could not see anything out of my windshield. Missed my turn. Didn't realize. Oh, you potato. Man. Bummer, dude. But that was a nightmare. Hostages stuck out in open water when yeah, ABC where you been you better just get off work or something Well fair enough Well, how many new batteries tanks or uh, father tech you need and two for bow thruster so you're gonna need to negotiate for price because your offer is pending acceptable survey four house batteries two bow thruster battery i mean that's even that's like 2100 bucks even if you go lead acid you know what i mean jelly bean do you know what i mean Hard to look at the cost for the survey. It's giving me a 9% of value. Yeah. Oh, for your negotiated price? Oh, there you go. You're fine then. What, what'd you price them out at? Just out of curiosity. Which ones, my man? Fill us in. The people must know. Father Tech. The people must know. Ooh, look at that ship behind him. Ooh. That's a Navy ship. That's a naval ship. That's what I'm talking about. Some ICW cruising with some stuff in the background. You know, I feel like we arrived today. I feel like today's the day we really got things dialed in with the stream. 
Although I think Tweedledee's got it on the selfie camera and not the good camera. About the tech answers to the questions. Postcard. There's a, one of my favorite movies of all time. It's about the Coast Guard. I forgot the name of it. It's Kevin Cosner in it. And uh, someone else. Something is going on. That's cool though, while the tech. You know, you got something off, which is what matters. And in your case, maybe instead of doing those inexpensive batteries, use that money towards some new ones. Some lithium, maybe. What are your thoughts on that, Father Tech? I mean, that seems pretty fair to me. 250 each, lead acid, blah, blah, blah. Seems, you know? Ladies and gentlemen, don't you forget. The new Merchant Diso is out. Hit the website, grab yourself some merch. Get some merchity merch. Or tips. Tips are appreciated. Yes, timing is a rough one. If I go with lithium, I gotta, yeah. Yep. Oh, they're not hard, man. It's really, really basic. I need, ooh, fair enough. Ah. Ooh. Well then, get yourself some quality lead acids. Chris. 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 Chris, I have a feeling. Oh, Chris. I have a feeling we're what? on selfie camera. We're not on selfie camera. Oh, look at you. Steven Spielberg, ladies and gentlemen. Steven look Spielberg. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Thanks for being so quick about that. You're a legend. How are things going? Where you at? You're inside the ICW? You're in the channel. We're about to miss fuel time, sadly enough. Oh, really? Yeah, they closed at 7, which, I mean... Technically, everywhere else that we pulled up to, we would have missed it by two hours. Ah, well, you know, yeah. Bummer. So, Bummer. got autopilot back on. We're charging forward. There you go, man. How's it? Like, give us a little tour. What are we looking at? What are we seeing? Let's see. We got the Naval Air Station. A couple Coast Guard boats over there. There's a guy that we can see on the beach walking as fast as we're cruising. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. Okay. Um, get in here, make a little adjustment. A little adjusty just? <laughs> Oh. 
full-size bridge below the head. It looks like it might have a suspension on the side. That's the view right there. Sweet. Well, actually, the sun's behind you. You know, you Shit. know. Man. Oh, the sunset turned into a dud set, huh? Yeah. It happened. It was looking real nice. It, it really was, those man. That ran away from us. Man, it was looking good. It's all promising. Got the phone all charged up for you. And then we got that. Bummer, man. We were rolling too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She's trying. She's trying to act like she's about that life. <laughs> Get as much as we can. Oh, yeah, it's been fun, as always. Today was a good day, man. The swimming with dolphins was epic. It's terrible. So I can't hear you as soon as I walk away. <laughs> you know, let's get you some AirPods. That's what they call them. AirPods. morning fog on the water with that yes. what? what what you talking about Willis? tomorrow's the big day trip tomorrow's the big day tomorrow is the big day it's the day i can reattempt get things fixed Ah, uh, AirPods, earbuds. Can we just be honest? Let's just call them headphones. Texas versus Alabama. Like we got the airbase, the barracks, lots of signals and antennas and things. Saturday? Is that football or something? I don't know what that means, Trip. What's that? What? Uh, just talking to my chat. Aw, oh, chatting with chat. You know, well, you'll be there soon enough, young Jedi. You'll be there soon enough. <laughs> the pupil shall become the teacher. Clouds are just really holding on to that sun. Looks like it's trying to move out. It's just it's trying. not quite gonna. It's trying to get its life together. <laughs> it will. Someday. There is no try. 
There is only two. True. I'm going to call you right back so the camera gets fixed. Un momento. Boom. Boom. You know, I tried. Tried there. Just found out. Yeah, I found that out this morning on the members area. Well, this afternoon. Long live the queen, as they say. Yeah, Father Tech just said, found out the queen died. I'm like, yeah. I mean, I guess that, uh, yeah. It's okay. I found out from your members area, too. Yeah, I was like, huh? But I, I have an excuse. I'm on a boat. True. I'm on an island. Does that count? I'll give it to you. It should count. I was uh, on the phone with Amazon earlier, wondering what one of my packages was. Oh my God, got someone on the phone? Well, online chat or whatever. And uh, <laughs> and I was like, bruh. <laughs> and he's, all he did was like, all he did was like read back the tracking number to me. He's like, it'll be there by tonight. And I go, <laughs> I go, no, it won't. I go, and he copied and pasted. He goes, it shows in Kentucky. It'll be delivered tonight. I go, so you're telling me my package is going to go from Kentucky, cross the Atlantic <laughs> Ocean, and wind up here at my doorstep? I go, are you just playing stupid or what? <laughs> uh, people. Yeah, I'm like, you trying to joke right now, man? You playing jokes? <laughs> Amazon's got jokes today. Amazon's got What's it? What's up, Buck? He is just cut through in La in, La in Pensacola, Florida, and now he appears to be heading east. So he must be going up in here. Oh, you guys can't see. Oh, lost him. What's he doing? There he is. Hello. Hello. I gotta. It's you lose it again? No, you're good. We lost it for a second, but you're okay. You're on top of things. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, Steven Spielberg. <laughs> so much. You've grown so much in two weeks. Yeah. No. Has it only been two? I think it's been three. <laughs> it's been a long time, but I tried to give you the benefit <laughs> of the doubt. I was like, it's only been a couple weeks, man. It's like a days. So what are, you, what are you doing? You, <laughs> you cut into the Pensacola Channel and headed right, headed east? Uh, we are headed... Oh, we, we cut in and made a couple turns. Um, I think we're headed east right now. Oh, well, maybe you're up here. Right to the field dock at the marinas. Oh, um, that's what you're trying to do. 
I see. Yeah, hopefully I can just tie up at the fuel dock, maybe off off center or whatever, and wait for the morning because Greg needs to get out early, and I have no dinghy motor, so it's going to be... Oh, uh, yeah, Greg's, Greg's trying to leave the boat. Yep, Greg is leaving the boat today. His birthday's coming up. He's got plans with his lady and all sorts of stuff. Birthdays. Want, want. I don't think I've celebrated my birthday in like a decade. I'm like, just don't. <laughs> did you did you have a terrible birthday or something? At no, one I point? just I don't want to age, so I just pretend they don't exist. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. <laughs> I just pretend. I have a Second lot of problems. Second star on the left and straight on till morning. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> like my last big one was when I turned 40, and since then it's just been downhill. Just count, Dude, stop every, counting after. every year it's another issue. Like, man, that hurts. Ah, my knee hurts. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Come on, man. I need to buy a product to make this feel better. God. Yeah. Mike, I need a <laughs> personal doctor. <laughs> Can I just get my own prescription pad, please? I'll be all right, I promise. Come on, man. <laughs> I'll be one of the good ones. Yeah, I swear. <laughs> I'll totally just Real use these things as prescribed. I promise. As does our whole country, right? Uh huh, for sure. <laughs> Not slowly working our way. It's a long channel. Right now, they're locking their doors on us. Right now. We are probably two miles from that. It was probably that sandwich you stopped and had when you anchored outside. It probably was. Screwing around yeah. those dolphins, man. Oh, could have been that, too. <laughs> I mean, there was some, some a little bit of time waiting there waiting. There was a little bit of tomfoolery afoot, but hey, we're back. We're back at it now. <laughs> We've been going strong for hours now. It's been five and a half hours. Sweet. Yep. Camera's charging, so by the time it gets dark there and we can't see, my camera will go on. This will be an 11 or 12 hour stream. Yeah. I'm still holding on at 21% here. How did you, did you get plugged in or fan. something? How'd that happen? Uh, I moved the camera forward and I uh, got plugged in. Yep. Oh, there you go. We should be good then. Replace that cord, the other one. Now I don't know how. Sure, it's a What? Wonder how bright that bay is that you're in at night. Uh, being that we're gonna have like a full moon, it should be. Oh yeah. Decent. A full moon and the city lights, you know. The most lit up that we've been since we were surrounded by lightning. Oh, true. Yeah, here, like, when we have full moons here, it's like, God damn. Can somebody turn the light off outside, please? Jesus. It gets very bright. There's a jet zipping around out here. It sounds like it's just rumbling above us because they're, you know, faster than sound. <laughs> We hear we're like looking above us, and I look off in the distance, and this guy just goes ripping by. <laughs> nice. Naval Air Base, man. Cool things a, a foot True. above, I guess, ahead. any alligators on your trip yet no gators here we are no in a gatorless florida for this trip hmm. Hmm. kind of surprised myself With all that icw i figured definitely catch something between Lauderdale and four fears you think uh texas is nice in october though Ah. <laughs> Tell me. 
It's an October 1st arrival. <laughs> October 2nd's the birthday, so that'll be all right. Ooh, whose birthday? Yours, the wife, the daughter? Mine. Oh, happy birthday, man. <laughs> How old are you going to be? 36. Ah. You're middle aged, basically. Swearing right now. Oh, can you guys see that? No. I think so. Oh, I can, yeah. What's he doing? Just doing slow that. down for landing. Oh. Well, I actually sky can't donuts. verify that he's slowing down, but it sounded like he was. Looks like he's lowering and going to low pass over the base. Yeah, he's gonna land. He, she, or they are going to land. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Stop that right there. <laughs> yeah. Don't you start that there. <laughs> <laughs> Like we got a little, little sunfish out on the water up here or something. All Pretty sailboat cool. up ahead. Pass on port side here in a couple of minutes. Alright, you guys hang out. I'm gonna go do some navigating. Mm-hmm. Roger that. 10-4 over. Check. gonna be 90 here tomorrow real feel 105 They did, JK. They do them quite often, man. Quite often, my dude.
Don't forget, use the code HOW right here. Sign up for an ASA membership. Use the code HOW to sailing. Right there. 10% off membership. Membership lasts for a year. Get discounts to things like those classes. And things like that. You know, I emailed them the other day. That's my code. I'm the only person in the world that has it. Blah, 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 blah. Um, about trying to get on that Annabelle the ship. You know? Uh, and they ghosted me. I haven't heard anything back. Nothing back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. And I'm currently looking up, uh, no 39 DS. Not even a kind of a hoot. Because uh, Troy is looking at DS vessels. And so I've been looking at them a bunch to help him out with stuff. There's really quite a bit of advantages. Buy a coffee, tip the man. He's here only through. Yeah. Your story, man. I am Groot. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I need to get some tips rolling in today. Tomorrow's the big day where I can see if I can get remonetized again. Even if I can tomorrow, I'm still. What month is that? August, September, October. My first check will be in November. If not tomorrow, my first check's in December. It's the beginning of September. Scary stuff. Oh, my Lanta. The man keeps jiving me. Dallas B. Thanks for the tip. An hour ago. Dallas B. Yep. I need to raise about double what I have. Whatever. It's not a full moon tonight. It's tomorrow. Oh, really? Well, I was looking outside and I'm like, that's not a full moon. Oh, dang. It's close though, well, but it's not a full one. We might miss it, we might miss it during the daytime. I have a similar boat like this tomorrow. That's cool, man. Well, pretty soon you'll be able to see it. Pitch black here, except for the moon. <laughs> Where you're at, it's like daytime. I'm like what? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Well, we have an hour difference. Yeah, no, which is wild to me. It's That's like, what? Bit.
I'm just currently looking up sailboats I can't afford. What? Huh? Talking to me? Oh, I was just talking out loud. <laughs> I'm just looking up sailboats I can't afford daydreaming and getting mad. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Dangerous moves. Yeah. And anyway, I do the math here, looking at these, like, it just doesn't work. It was my understanding that there be no math. No matter what you try. Yeah, no matter how I try to move decimals, I'm like, I can't afford this <laughs> at all. Buddy, don't you worry, Father Tech. I'll be taking advantage of that soon enough. Thank you so much, sir. When are you going to pick it up, Father Tech? That's very nice of you to offer. Appreciate that, man. When are you going to pick it up? Do you see what I see? It's how lightning. Your wife just broke a the tooth. moon on the other side of the sky here. Mm. Yeah, I just saw lightning in the uh, distance, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, there was some of that. The moon going to finally start to come out for you? I'm curious to see yeah. how the bay is going to look once it lights up the bay. All right. Pretty. Oh, yeah. She is. See, and that's what else I was talking about. See all those lights in the distance? I was like, I wonder how bright that's going to be with that and the moon. Probably going to be a nice one. Got like stadium lights around here for street. Yeah, we have like one of those across the street down by the light. I'm like, dude, turn down the light, man. Calm down. Excessive. <laughs> a little much there, buddy. Yeah, I'm like, geez, man, trying to light up the the intersection or the city. I don't know what he did to his phone tanks. Some trickery. Some trickery afoot. Signal booster? Man, you'll be in the channel. You don't even need it. Brisket's service like three miles offshore, man. You got plenty of service. You don't need for a single booster. Not with a cell phone, man. You got coverage. T-Mobile sucks. Bruh. Bruh. Shit. What's the signal booster? Now you got me concerned. 
You're going to try to hide out on me because you don't want to be famous. You're not taking the ICW? Wait, where are you at? Right, wait, what? What? Wait, what? Where are you at? Father Tech? You're like in Orlando, right? Where are you picking up the boat? What are you doing? Where are you picking up the boat? Where's your from and two point, Father Tech? Where's the boat? Jacksonville to Merritt Island. Jacksonville to Merritt Island. Oh yeah, but see you have all that inland water to cover. So you should have service all the way to the ocean. You know what I mean, Father Tuck? And then to Merritt Island. French toast is Merritt Island. Oh, I'm going to go offshore for that trip. Okay. So we can catch your stream from Jacksonville to the ocean, though. And once you get past two miles out or something, we'll be burned, but... The bridge? The distance? BMW Tech, what's up, my man? You didn't miss it all, but you missed six hours of it. Been streaming for six hours. Up, uh, yeah. See, that'll be cool, man. We'll catch that. I'm looking at signal boosters right now. See if maybe I can ring you one up here and order it on Amazon for you. A thousand and ninety nine dollars. That's a no. Huh? Thinking about a signal booster also. Might get. I mean, I had service the first time we were talking. I was still uh, like 16 miles out, 18 miles out. Which is wild. Who's your phone provider? AT and T. Ah, uh, that's why. Um, also, if you have a business line, you get preferred service over regular. And then if you have, uh, if you're fire, EMT, first responder, anything like that, then you'll qualify for an even higher service. That's Let's see, almost now, guaranteed connectivity. My question is. Pro tip. Like those signal boosters though, Chris, does that just boost yeah. like your signal or does it boost your Wi-Fi signal? That's what I'm looking for uh, is just Wi-Fi. Boost Oh, okay, yeah, those uh, cell cell boosters are just for uh, your signal, cell signal. right? But yeah. you'll be able to use your hotspot or whatever if that's what you're operating on. Bridge is that? That's a great question. I don't have phone <laughs> access. <laughs> That's true. I'll look it Someone's up. Someone's getting pulled over on it, though. <laughs> you're somewhere. Oh, it's this bridge. No. I don't know where the heck you are. Maybe it's this bridge. You gonna go under that bridge? Probably gonna go under that bridge. I ten? I don't know. I think it's this thing. It's, oh, it's one of these two. Might be this one. One of these two. Maybe it's this one. I don't know where the hell he's at. He's somewhere in there. One of these three bridges or four bridges. Somewhere in there. He's somewhere in there. Don't forget. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to... Don't forget to... Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention to stop what you're doing and listen. Don't forget.
Pensacola Bridge, I believe. No, he's not in Alabama because I think he hung a right. Play the first aid kit.
Reset and your button back here. That's cool. Yep. We're going to go over here in this dark section between the lights. Go and check the equipment of the lights. Dip them too low so that it's the ground will make sure that it's a very tight line and very good plan. <laughs> well, well, well. What do we have here? Looks like we're going to anchor outside. That chain. Really want to squeeze our way. Stop it. Yeah. 
Not bad. A little city view, huh? 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 What do you guys think? Who's here? Who's in chat? Let me know. Still here. That's what I'm talking about. BMW is here. ABC is here. The gang's all here. Tanks here. Yeah. All my legendary legends. Travis is here. Are oh, the gang's all here? Oh, his phone's trying to figure out what to focus on. There's land on the other side of him, two tanks. I think he's close to land on his port side. Dinner and rice. Yeah, I'm gonna. I mean, it was up to me. He'd just leave his phone on all night long. I'll run the stream 24 hours. We'll just do a sunset to sunrise stream. <laughs> Good looking spot he's got. Thank you. 
Yeah, when he gets back to the camera, I'll have to have him adjust it. Because his camera just is trying to autofocus on the sheets. Sheets. Standing ring. Still. What? Oh, we're piling our anchor chain on top of itself. Oh, you're good. Working on that anchor out here. I was gonna say you should turn the camera to the right a little bit. It keeps trying to decide what to focus on your standing rigging or the uh Yeah, and then up a little bit. Just up a little tiny bit. Yeah, right there. Oh, right there. Right there. Perfecto. Gorgeous. Ladies and gentlemen. Steven Spielberg. Mm -hmm. That's your call sign. You know how, uh, like in Top Gun, they have Maverick and Goose? You're Spielberg. <laughs> Spielberg <Yeah>. it is. <laughs> we have now dubbed you Spielberg. Great anchorage. I got your back. Thanks, my man. Yeah, that stuff's always good information. They can log into me. The problem with that, Father Tech, uh, is no camera has the ability built into itself to do Wi Fi. So you can Wi Fi to like your computer, for instance, on some cameras, uh, and then from that way stream. But the problem is, you know, like all like the security cameras you see and like live cameras you can check in or whatever. Those are all hardwired into a network or a database via a hardwire to a computer. The problem is you're stuck with cell phones for like live streaming from a, from a, from um boats and stuff. That's the problem. That's why it's gotta be someone's cell phone on like a mount and then I have to call them in the members area and then I live stream from here. <laughs> Cause like a camera would be cool with remote control mount. Yeah. Yeah. Bluetooth camera, same thing. You have to, uh, the Bluetooth only connects you to like your computer. Your computer is what gets like the internet. You can't just use, uh, like Bluetooth to like connect to like random Wi-Fi or like internet Wi-Fi from like a cell phone or anything. Might be able to do something like with a tablet that actually has like service and get your tablet on like its own plan and set that up as like a 24 hour camera streaming nonstop. But see, th that still has to be, that still has to call to a network via video. Yeah, it's a bummer. SpaceX. Yeah. See, in Starlink, Starlink would work, but again, it would still be a computer. You'd have a computer on your boat connected to Starlink. Your camera connected to your computer, then your computer streaming is how that would work. Unless I don't, unless I don't know of a technology or something that's out there, which could be totally possible. But everything's like, like they even have like vlogger stream camera thingies, you know, doorbell cameras. See, and I think doorbell cameras are always hardwired to a network. Or they're Bluetooth to, uh, or they're Bluetooth to like the home network.
Yo, there's a bunch of them that'll connect Wi-Fi to your internet from your house. On your house network, for sure. That's how you can wireless bridge in, uh, like transfer photos wirelessly and stuff, for sure. But they won't connect to the internet because they don't have service. They don't have that kind of service. Like my camera, for instance, has Wi-Fi. It doesn't do me any good. I can connect my computer with it. I can connect my cell phone with it. I can Bluetooth to my cell phone. Uh, then use my cell phone like as a monitor for the camera. I mean, it has to connect to something. Oh, those birds. So maybe, uh... I mean, if you can wirelessly connect it to your phone, use it as your camera, then from your phone stream, but usually when you go to stream from your phone, it wants to, it'll make you use your phone's camera. The front one's going to be on forever. Well, 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 I think we're anchored. Oh, nice, man. Yeah, but Travis, you can't do anything with that because you can't go to like an internet browser to stream. You can connect to Wi-Fi for sure. And you can transfer photos. If you have something else uh, nearby that you can, your camera is wirelessly connected to and you can transfer, but you can't just turn on a camera and have Wi-Fi, connect to the Wi-Fi, you can't do anything. You don't have a browser to do anything with. It's not connected to anything is the problem. Yeah, my camera is $3,500. It has all the brand new technology. Uh, you know. Yeah, and they use their phones. It's always their phones. Because your phone has the internet browser, and that's how it does it. So your cameras will have the same ability to connect to an internet, but without the internet browser, it can't do anything. Other than tap into another network with you, i.e. your cell phone, uh, and then do it that way. That's why you don't ever see anybody running around streaming with a mirrorless camera or anything. Uh, And some like uh, some <laughs> some Twitch streamers have built what they call like an on-the-go pack, <laughs> which is literally like a wireless router and extra batteries and everything. Uh, I have cameras connected to my Wi-Fi router. Exactly. Your Wi-Fi router. That's the part you're missing. It's connected to your Wi-Fi router. Your Wi-Fi router is wired. Because your router is wired. So just like here, I can connect my camera to my wireless internet here. No problem. I can log into it from my computer. Um, and I can access it that way. Starlink is a Wi-Fi router. So can you connect your camera? I 
I think you're missing a step here, Travis. I don't think you're understanding. Like, take one of your cameras anywhere outside of your house, down the street, and try to connect it to internet. It'll need you to connect to the internet via the camera. Then you're going to have to connect to the same internet with your phone. And then you can control your camera with your phone. But you cannot stream that way because you cannot stream and use that kind of a camera. It has to be. Uh, and again, it's the same thing. If you use your phone as your Wi-Fi hotspot, the hotspot to your camera to connect your camera to your phone, you can control your camera via your phone, but you cannot stream. Because when you connect your phone to the streaming service, YouTube or anything, it'll default to your cell phone camera is the problem. So you can always connect, but you can't do anything with it unless you have a computer and your computer needs to be attached to the same Wi-Fi network. So does your camera. So if Starlink is good enough, uh, then yeah. But like, even if I hotspot from my phone to something, that's usually not enough data to really stream, get a bunch of drop frames and stuff. Um, He's like, let me show you something. Because it's not so much uh, like the camera problem, it's this, it's the uh, but you didn't have it set up to stream. You couldn't stream with it, could you? Or what? So you're saying you connected your camera to, to what network? Like, what do you, like you had your camera connected to a network, your RV? Camera. I don't think you're understanding, Travis. It's not about just connecting your camera to the internet. You have to be able to stream. have a hard wire on the go so that doesn't work. connect your camera to what the Wi-Fi service somewhere which would be a hotspot from your cell phone right well it's not but you're not I don't think you understand you can connect your camera as much as you want to that does you no good you cannot stream that way. I can connect my $4,000 camera right behind me to the internet right now. I cannot stream that way. That's not how streaming works. You can't. Like me connecting my camera to a Wi-Fi network does me no good. Because if you were able to do that, then everybody would be running around with mirrorless cameras streaming. Instead of their cell phones, everybody would choose the mirrorless cameras. 
So there's a step that's missing in there. It's not just connecting the camera to the Wi-Fi. And that's what I'm saying. I can turn my hotspot on my phone. I can connect my camera to the hotspot. I can control my camera via my phone for sure. But I can't stream with that camera. Even if it's connected to the Wi-Fi, even if it's connected to my hotspot, even if I'm controlling it with my phone, can't, that won't, that doesn't allow me to stream with that camera. much much more complicated than that it has to be a media source within your streaming software that's why when you use your cell phone it defaults to your cell phone camera as a media source Hey, buddy. What's up? Spielberg back. What's up, um, watching a dinghy, or not a dinghy, a damn barge leave. They're gonna be pissed at me. Are you in the way? <laughs> um, I'm technically just barely out of the way, but I'm making them navigate <laughs> more than they would have to if I weren't right at the edge of their channel. Um, but yeah, I'm down to 8% again. I uh, gave up the charging. Because uh, we were navigating and using Greg's phone because the above, uh, what, the cockpit GPS had shut off and everything, so we're using the phone. And we got some whiskey out, and we're going to start settling ourselves down as the phone's dying here. Be coming in view any minute. It's not gonna be much, it's just one lit up pilot vehicle and then big blank barge. Barge looks super cool. The screen's so small for me to see what you're seeing. Yeah, it's small. It's small on my end, too. Gotcha. Is the barge showing up on my ass? Can you see that? I would imagine. Yeah, I can see it. At least the pilot car. Oh, whatever. In and out of the jetty at Surfside Beach, there's always 
uh, pilot boats leading them in and out of there because it's fairly narrow because it's 500 feet wide or so. But when the boat's 200 feet wide, it becomes an issue. Moving in here too. These guys are going to rotate right toward us. Let me see if I can plug in for a little bit longer. Sure. So I'll try to plug in a little bit. Oh, he's spotlighting you. He's mad. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's not about me being here. <laughs> Actually, he probably is. It's like the only excitement he gets. Otherwise, it's just too easy for him. Oh, he straight spotlighted you. Yeah, got the light of truth on him. <laughs> yeah, he lit up the his port side there to see where he is exactly. Gotta make sure you're gonna make the turn. Probably, if I had to guess, about 500 feet away from his bow. In which case, do I turn on spreader lights so that he can see us better? Or do I allow him to just beam the hell out of us? Like he's opting for option two. Why you? Yeah. For the face. Your VHR. Yeah, he's mad. No. Is he coming at you? Uh, no, he's gonna turn, turn around. I'm looking at green now, green and red, and his steaming light. Oh man, nice thrusters. This is, they just pulled a full pivot. <laughs> right on this bill. Man. Highly skilled. Now, if he drifts into us, that would suck. <laughs> Gonna take some thrust. Oh, I think he's still doing a big turn to make sure that doesn't happen. Yep, that's us. He wants you to move. Well, I can. I mean, I can, but, you know. I got a lot of anchor out. Uh, I'm going to stand by, just in case. He's, he's already pointing to a completely different direction. Uh, 
by the time I get the anchor chain done, it's going to be bomb. Do it, right. I know, right? Did you guys hear the horn blast? Yeah. Uh, that was a. Uh, I'm pissed. <laughs> Could have gotten in closer, but I also could have just run up on the fuel dock if there was more light, and that didn't happen, so neither did the other one. Yeah, at the very least, they're not happy with me being here. <laughs> we drag, drag it off, you know? No. Okay. Yeah, they should be alright. I got the anchor light on, I got a bow light on to indicate where we are. You had your radio on? I've got radio on now. It wasn't <laughs> whatever you're probably curious. He was probably hailing you. <laughs> probably so. Like now we're just looking at you from the companion way. <laughs> Popped up like a gopher. What was he trying to do? Turn? Or what? Whole pivot, yeah. I mean, most likely I'm in their direct path that he would take normally, because he's only going to draw like two, three feet. Uh, KB has been asking questions, and are we still a go? I believe we are. Um, I'm just not positive on ICW or otherwise. Uh, just haven't gotten a good look at that yet, and that's dependent on what lures he's gonna bring. So I do need to get a look at that. Apparently I'm not charging very quickly. So I'm probably gonna have to hop off here and do some captaining. Uh, oh, lost no. him. We're still there? Oh, you're, ah! good. you're good. All right, all right. But yeah, I'm gonna have to hop off here and do some capping, check in with KB and family and everything else. All right, cool, man. Well, thanks for, uh, you know, hanging out with us today. We appreciate it. Totally, it was a good one today. Was, Much man. better than if you guys were to see the shite show last night. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure that Could would have been, been pretty good. interesting, though. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's not about it going smooth. It needs to fall apart. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know. Spielberg never did make it smooth. <laughs> oh man, get this. There's broke. always havoc. <laughs> All right, cool, brother. I'll catch you. Thanks for your time today, man. I appreciate it. Totally. We'll catch up tomorrow. All right, later, brother. See you guys. My name is Chris. So, what else do you need to know? Stuff about my family or where I'm from? None of that matters. Not once you cross the ocean and cut yourself loose. Looking for something more beautiful, something more exciting, and yes, I admit, something more dangerous. Um. So after 21 days at sea, six cases of top ramen, 52 beers, three bottles of rum, and no sleep, ah! I finally.
touchdown in the Bahamas. Gateway to the Caribbean. Boom. All right. I had to switch over. Okay. So Travis, any streaming has been on the hardware as in live streaming? Like as far as my camera, you mean? Is that what you mean, Travis? Because now, see, I didn't think of, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I know, but now I'm all interested in this camera thing because I think I was missing something. Uh, or I just didn't think of. I mean, like on the go, the streaming software, I guess, is what limits it. Because you have to have a media source, you can use a browser source, but to use OBS, you need a desktop or a laptop. There's that, but still, the ability, I never thought about wirelessly connecting it to the network, then tapping in, then using that as a browser source. You could do that as long as you had something to run that. Well, yeah, my. My A7 IV will stream 4K 60 or 4730. Like, in and of itself. Uh, you know, without having to uh, do anything. So there's that part. Well, yeah, but I never thought of just using it as, uh, you know, like even here at the house. I mean, I get it. This Now, I, I don't think I was articulating the issue well. It's not so much the technology, it's the software, because you got to use OBS to do, like, all these overlays and stuff I'm doing. Um, and so, I don't think I was articulating it right, but... Um, Like even here at the house or whatever, I could, uh, I could wirelessly do it. Like I have a big long cord. I could run it from the roof and downstairs and stuff. I just haven't wireless would be cool. Uh, it's this one right here, man. Travis. The Sony A7 IV didn't come out that long ago. Um, but I'm bum bum. I don't remember when it was released, but not long ago. Uh, specs maybe. And then I was looking, um, let me see when it came out. 
A security camera networked into the boat. Yeah, I think Travis is uh, onto something here. So if you had Starlink, then yeah, you could use like a security camera or even like a nice camera. I never thought of that. And then you could stream it to the cloud and use that link as, uh, you know, somebody else from home would have to do the uh, whole uh, streaming part of it with OBS. That's the bottleneck for that part. But yeah, I never thought of that. Any more cameras on my boat that can access from anywhere with my phone? Yeah, that's a good... I never thought of... Uh, like, I thought about, like, the ring stuff. I just... I never thought of, like, using it as a browser source. Because I've always just been attached to the desktop. And I'm like, well, you don't have crap for internet out there until we have Starlink. But in the meantime, on, like, other people's boats and stuff, not so much for, you know... Yeah, so... That worked into the boat. So in that case, Travis, what would he have to do? So he'd have to have Starlink on his boat and then have the camera connected to Starlink, cloud the camera or whatever, and then someone else could log into it. And they could probably can control it and stuff too, right? I guess. I don't know why I never thought of any of this. Well, I do know why, because I don't know what the heck I'm talking about when it comes to this stuff. Yeah, so this this the Sony A7 IV came out less than a year ago. So it's got all the new latest and greatest nonsense. Uh you just need to be able to connect it to a Wi-Fi. Cloud host the link thing here or whatever, whatever the terminology is for that, Travis. What am I trying to say here, Travis? Help? I think that's what I'm trying to say. Help. It's not so much the camera it's i don't understand so what i what i don't understand i guess is how to so i know that they all have wi-fi but i guess what i what i don't understand is how i always knew you could connect it to wi-fi but i don't understand how to use that as a like a streaming camera for instance so to basically to put it up into the cloud some software and then have that software give you the link because that's what i need is the link part of it then I can use that as a browser source in my streaming software. So that's the part I don't understand. It's the connecting the camera to some sort of a hosting service that gives you the link. Since he does that for a living, I think, he's probably fairly well versed in it. But he probably got tired of my nonsense and left. I'm guessing. And I don't blame him.
Browsers and members of the cloud service can use a browser. Any members of the cloud services. But like, so then. So how would I do that, Travis? So I would connect my camera to Wi-Fi and like, I think. Yeah, I don't understand that part of it. I don't understand to, uh. Like, I connect to Wi Fi and then I have to. Con I don't know. That's the part I don't understand. <laughs> That's why I was so lost. Then how's the quality, Travis? Like, how much quality do you lose? I guess it all depends on signal or something, probably. Okay, yeah. I, uh, as you can tell, I'm kind of dumb when it comes to that stuff, man. So, my bad. My apologies for getting flustered there and thinking you were wrong. My fault. I need like an apology emote. I don't have one. Okay. Just cloud service. Yeah, I just, I don't understand how to connect it. I mean, I turn on my Wi-Fi on the camera and then what? And it connects to the network. Then that must give you a link or something, I guess. I guess that gives you a link or something. My bandwidth, I have 100 down and 30 up. Yeah, no, I'm not very good at that stuff. Like some cameras, uh, you need a capture card to plug it into. Plug it into your camera. You can't even just plug it straight into your computer. You need a capture card to switch the signal to something or something. Uh, so that, like in my last camera, that's how that one was. This one, I can just plug directly in because it has a clean out port thingy. Yeah, and I just need that. I could do it as a browser source, Travis. I never thought of that until you said anything. I mean, I can't hear from at home. Once I'm on a boat, I'll have the laptop hooked up to the Starlink, and I could just use the laptop and have it as a browser source there, too. Then I could have cameras mounted on different parts of the boat. How about a few clams for the bucket? Seems like a solid plan. I'm just uh, getting an education. Streaming stuff. Robert M. Just do it, ladies and gentlemen.
gentlemen, can I please have your attention to stop what you're doing and listen? Thank you, Robert M. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Travis, one quick question. So Sony has whatever this is, C3 portal. I'm not familiar with it. Some sort of camera connect cloud. Service available, blah, 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 blah. So I guess this is what Sony uses for their proprietary stuff. So you could do it that way, I guess. Live stream us dual link connection. It was two hundred. Sell your connection from the field. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So it must be something like this, huh, Travis? Bunch of stuff I don't understand. Oh. Okay. I'm learning, kids. I'm pretty slow, but I'm learning. So it's optimized for these fancy ones, but I'm sure use it for other ones, maybe? But that's expensive, huh? Oh. So with my Sony A7 IV, I should be able to use some sort of a service similar though, right, Travis? I mean, I assume so, because you were saying security cameras and stuff, I guess. Because those are expensive cameras. Yeah, there's something I can connect my thing to to... Oh, those are no more than my camera. Like the PZ190. It's actually less expensive than my camera. So I'm sure my camera must work with it, right? Yes, doesn't Sony have desktop software links to the camera if it's on the same Wi-Fi network? Good question. I don't know. I think they do, or they did. What would you call that kind of software? Sony streaming software, maybe? Imaging Edge. It does for the A6. What, uh... What is it called? Is it the Imaging Edge stuff? Must be this one. Well, yeah, see, this, I think the OBS requires me to have a laptop to run OBS, the streaming software itself. Now, I could do it Wi-Fi without the streaming app, but then... Um, that's the snag to do it just, like, completely wirelessly, you know? Unless you could somehow do it directly. See, because you need OBS to stream. Or you can live stream just straight to YouTube, but YouTube only gives you the option for your cell phone or from a, like a streaming software. So that's where you get snagged. I think. So that's a good question. Let me check right now. OBS phone app? They must, right? See, so they have them for you, like your phone to turn your phone into a camera source in OBS. Uh, let's 
They don't think OBS has uh Hmm. Streamlabs, yeah, I was just reading that. Streamlabs OBS has one. Looks like, right? Because it does and the app allows adding as if it does, the app allows adding a browser, so then you could literally be anywhere. Oh. I see. See, because then you could do it anywhere, like you were saying, Travis. You could be on a boat as long as you had your phone, OBS on your phone. I think you're good to go, maybe? I think so. Work of OBS. Yeah, I have uh, stream elements. I could always just switch to stream labs. See, because if, yeah, see, I could, this could work. I have streamed on Twitch with your phone. Yeah, using your phone as a camera, right, Rob? From Android on the Streamlabs phone app, is what you're saying? Okay. And so when you do it that way with Streamlabs, do you go to the Streamlab app on your phone and set up your stream like you normally would? And then click start streaming, it connects you. Yeah, I guess. Or find an alternative OBS, some of the cloud service might even have an option. Well, I think, yeah, Travis, I think the alternative will be Stream Labs. Because I don't see OBS as having a. They have an app, but it's just to turn your phone into like a webcam. Oh, and then you just pick YouTube as your provider. Yeah, and connect it just like you would on a desktop, but then your phone becomes your thing. That could work. See, from home, I can just connect it wirelessly, I think, to my... See, I think that's my problem on the roof. I, th I tried this before, like, with a GoPro, using my GoPro wirelessly and doing it. And it doesn't... It won't connect to my computer. Too much concrete in between. Is the bummer. Huh. I'll have to figure something out. God, I hate technology. Yeah, and like I forgot, yeah. And that's what it was. And I could connect wirelessly, it would go to that service, and that's what it would do, it would create a link. And then I'd copy that link to my computer and put that as a browser source in OBS. That was like two years ago. Uh, and I never thought of doing that like with a good camera. I don't know why. Cause that'd be great for later. Or if there's a desktop app, a guy could be doing it on the go. You know, anywhere you had cell phone service at least, right? I think. I think. OBS Studio. I guess is what it's... Let's see here. OBS. So OBS doesn't have one. Streamlabs does, though. And that Streamlabs one, Rob, must just be like, just like the desktop app, but on your phone.
Yeah, and then I guess with the camera, I just connect to my phone. And then that would allow me to do it from my phone. Right? I'm going to have to try this out. No idea how I'm going to do this, but <laughs> one of these days I'm going to have to try this out. Because in that case, man, I could go all over the place with my phone and my camera and do it that way. Hmm. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. All right. All right, then. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll install Streamlabs now. All right. So, how's everybody else doing? Besides my lack of knowledge when it comes to uh, that stuff. I thought I knew, but I clearly don't, so. Uh, <laughs> um, are you pumped to get your boat, Father Tech? Are you excited yet? Or what? Because I've been, uh... See, these will probably always be out of my price range. The 39DS... Oh yeah, Travis, you have your, uh, you have, uh, isn't your ASA coming up, Travis? And you need Don's good shoes, right? Nice, man. Nice. Sweet. When's your class, Travis? Super pumped, huh, Father Tech? Nice, man. That'll be exciting. By the time you're ready to go, Travis will have taught me how to do this wireless live streaming stuff, and we'll be okay. 101, 103, 104. Hanging in there. You know, I've been eyeballing these DS models lately because of Troy on my members area. His wife really, really wants one. And I've always liked them, but I haven't looked too close at them. Ha, 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 ha. Travis, uh, earlier he tipped me if I could talk, uh, Chris into jumping off the boat, uh, to go swim with the dolphins. And I was able to. Aesop is hoping to be there too. Beware. What, the classes, Travis? Oh, that'd be nice, man. Yeah, buddy. And I used to have to, uh, you know, growing up poor, man, you know, go to Goodwill to do school shopping, man. It's a thing. You, Don. Which one's Don? Not a dog. That'll be cool, man. What's this new fad of call for a price shiitake these days? Like, if I wanted to call for a price, I'd call for... What? I'm not calling you for a price? Oh, DLM3. Okay, yeah. 
Okay, so you, DLM, KB, and not a dog. That'll be cool, man. And then how quick are we going to get you a boat, Travis? When are you ready to roll full time, bro? A. Row. Where's Tank? Tank still here? December 2023. Nice, man. It's not nearly as long as you think. That time will come and go quick. Tank had to go? Where'd he go? Oh, his wife or something? What I know. Yeah, Travis, that'll come and go quick, man. That's barely enough time. Oh, you're still here. Sharpening your knife? For what? What are you mad at? That's your wife's tooth. Price low to high. Oh, a one-fifth share. Man, this boat just keeps dropping until it's going to be free soon. You know, e-space. Custom sunshine. 44-foot sun on a sea. What's wrong with it? Oh, I've seen this boat forever. This boat at one point was like 80 grand. But isn't it? I think it's totally shot. Right? No. What's wrong with this boat? Have any neglect. Uh, once you take your classes, well, Travis, if you think about it, um, like Chris, three weeks ago, he had never sailed a day in his life. And he went to, uh, Florida, picked up the boat, has a, not really a captain on the board, but somebody that had standing experience, some. And now he's done a ton, you know? So he's gotten a lot of experience just in a few weeks. You'll be the same. Later, dude. Did you know, Sunshine 36. Is give you the basic. You really learn to sell. Yeah. Well, that's true, though. That's just kind of the jam, you know? Let's leave that off up there. I said North America and last time I checked
Canada is not North America. What do I know? Yeah, exactly. Maybe about a five thousand dollar boat and we're sailing the world. I get comments like that. How about a blue water boat for ten thousand? I can go anywhere I want. Like, stop lying to me. It's a nice boat. The more I look at these though, their lack of windows. I'm more concerned at mother French toast. Does this to me every time? I hate it like when it does that. It's like, oh, cool. Let's uh, just mess up your whole thing here. Like, who's. Oh, I just. It's these guys. So. Absolutely. These guys bought a boat. Uh, uh. I guess here. So a year ago, then they had one video that did really, really well. That's not where it's at. I think it was that one. I guess it was that one. a year ago oh is this one yeah 4.9 million views wow anyway so a year to have this whatever this is I've over trimmed and fought the helm. I've actually jived because I didn't dump the bang. Made a beer, BRB. The trick is practice. Yeah. You just got to get out there and go. What's everybody doing? Oh, this new one, the pirate off the coast of Somali. stuff ladies and gentlemen if I'm going so end up then sail with this
<laughs> I don't really see any reason to have a Jenniker, but what do I know, man? You know? What do I know? I mean, it's fairly simple, but that's like full blown. Let's rip down wind. <laughs> so, Father Tech, what's your plans when you get the boat? So you're going to take it down there to the marina, hang out for a few months, get comfy, get the boat set up kind of how you want it, and then rip that bad boy down here. Is that your plan, Jan? Hey, puppy. Hey, puppy. Perfecto. Have you called the marinas down here yet? Failure to plan, the plan to fail. Did you buy an anchor? You went and bought an anchor? Oh. Well, that's good. Uh, you know. Yeah, have boat will travel. Well, I can't wait for Karma to bite you for that comment. <laughs> Armor is going to get you. Two days we should have the moon. Oh.
game, Father Jack. What? Do tell. Do tell. Let's go, Father Jack. What you got? Huh? I don't want to give you the top boat names until I hear what your name is. need to know what they mean or why we just need to know what they are libra la bahia and mare long water but it a good one. long water was a solid name let's see Sitting on the dock of the bay. Man, man, man. So here's the best boat names according to parade. Serendipity, Imagination, Liberty, Wanderlust, Gale, Zephyr, Atlantis, SV Atlantis. That's kind of cool, right? Neptune, Noah, Wayfarer. Unsinkable. Long weekend. The Flying Dutchman. Don't even know what that says. Classy boat names, really. Classy. I think these guys just made up stuff. Johnny, what's up, man? Sabbatical. Ooh, you see what they did there? SB Sabbatical. But I'm bunch. Sure thing. Ooh, we're getting punny. Titanic 2? That seems like a terrible idea. Doc Tapas? New kid on the dock? Eat, cray, love? What? This has to be a joke. Lady Kriller? <laughs> For like a krill fishing boat? That'd be funny. The Codfather? There we go. Oh. Well, look at the smart kid in chat today. The Codfather. Dude, I'm into this one. SV Codfather? Dude. SV Codfather? <laughs> oh, that's a riot. Sweet Caroline. Bum, bum, bum. Podium McBoatface? Like, I think. Who did this? Like some intern? 400 unique, cool, and boat names. Bacon in the sun, seduction. Office. As in, I'm at the office. There you go. Bad. Really, not bad at all. The Codfather. Man! Uh, that romance novel was Father Jack?
for Father Tech, when we do a live stream, are you going to uh, tell us? I guess when you, I don't know what that is. HP Lovecraft. I don't know what that is. You can, as I think we've determined that I'm a moron today, based on my lack of knowing about uh, the Wi-Fi camera thing. I thought we were clear there, boys. I have to look up that author. I'm pumped about it. All right, yep. All right, then. Fair enough. Fair enough. He's like Stephen King before Stephen. Yeah, I'm an idiot. It's official. Uh, I'm just wore out these days, I think, and I'm turning into a grumpy old man. Keep messing around, man. Get your stuff together. And I might just, uh, what month is it? September? <coughs> Not getting out of business paper. Uh, it's, uh, September now. Boat shows October. friend from Germany coming over uh, sometime in October. I'll have to see when they're coming. Because I might be able to swing back by. Where are you going to be, Father Tuck? In Florida? What's the name of that island thing you're going to? St. Merritt? Merritt Island? Oh, so the closest airport to there is Orlando, I assume, right? Must be. Right? Come to Miami. Oh, it's an hour away. Hmm. Uh, one second.
Travis is back. <laughs> uh, we were going over boat names. I got the truck. I could fly into, uh, if I can swing it in my schedule, I'd probably lose a flight. I don't think my flight's changeable. I say I could just fly there after the boat show. But I don't think my flight's changeable. Uh, let me check. Crap. Baltimore return. Let me see here. Oh, I could. It only cost me 49 bucks to change my flight. I could probably do that. I might have wanted a 40 foot. Plus, I patient began to lay out the map. Yeah. Just ride back to Florida with me. I make it to boat show. Yeah, no, I don't do that. I don't do 12 hour road trips, man. Thanks for the offer, but no. I just don't do, I don't do road trips, man. I drove, I drove cross country like four different times. And my last time I was like, never again. Planes, my max flights, like three hours. And I'm like, nope. Uh, yeah. Candy, get the truck. Free candy, bruh. Easy 12 hour car ride. No. Yeah. I'm like, no thanks. Motorbike. Yeah. No. Well, then you don't ever want to live in Texas. Yeah. That's why I, don't, I live on an island, man. 
for that reason, I don't do road trips. No road trips for me! Oh! And if I... So it cost me 49 bucks to change my flight. So then... It will cost me the cost of a flight, basically. Just change that flight for 49 bucks. Fly from Baltimore to Orlando. Dink around with you for a week. And I gotta fly from Orlando to Puerto Rico. New question. There are no benefits. No benefits. That's easy. There's a bunch of downfalls. A bunch of cons, but no benefits. No benefits, my man. Might be, but still. I just, I don't know. No. If it's more than an hour, I'm like, no thanks, man. I'll just hang out. <laughs> like, there's only one thing that I like to do. That is be on the ocean, in the water, by the ocean, sail. Outside of that, it's very difficult to get me to do much. I'm literally dreading the boat show anyway. Like, I'm trying to weasel in my way right out of that. <laughs> so I think my, yeah, boat show, exactly. Well, you know, I'm going to strut around in a banana hammock. Be like, what up? <laughs> I guess. I don't know. But yeah, I'm not looking forward to that show. That's too many people for me, man. And it's very weird to me to have people like want to talk to me. <laughs> and be like, hey, you know, <laughs> I'm not used to the whole whole bunch of people know me thing and want to hang out <laughs> so I think my my plan I think for the boat show is just drink heavily I show up to the boat show and say, hey, what's up, Chris? Where's my sticker? Let's have a beer. Yeah. I'm like, don't get me wrong. Like, I want to meet everybody and hang out and stuff. You know, I just, I haven't been very social in like a couple of years. I got down here. 
so it's going to be like all new to me. Like I haven't really socialized in a couple years. And by having socialized, like I went on one date. I'm pretty much a solo going person. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just need a few drinks and I'll be like a social butterfly. I'm like, whoop, whoop, let's go. You know? So, yeah, it's just a bit overwhelming. But it'll be all right. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be fun and stuff. It's just for me, it's a lot of work, too, because um, like I'm not going up there to like vacation. I'm going up there from, to uh, work, do boat tours and stuff. How is it different from what I do now? I don't do anything now. Yeah, dude, if I do that, I'm jumping off the dock. Yeah, my whole life I was that guy. When I was like the party guy and woohoo, Mr. Social and always had to be out doing stuff. And then I moved down here and I just turned into an absolute recluse. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, it'll be fun and stuff. It's just, uh, you know. I mean, it's a lot for me. I gotta go to the airport here, fly, you know, whatever that is, 2,000 miles or something up to the mainland United States. Then I got to Uber to hotels or Airbnbs and figure out how to get to the show. And I got to film the show and do boat tours and meet people and blah, 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 whoa, a lot. Cuffs are the beginning of the fun. Batteries for my camera, charger, cables. I really should pick up a laptop. I just can't really afford it. But I should pick up a laptop to edit some videos while I'm up there. Dodging warrants, bounty hunters. You'll have the main one. I don't have any warrants or bounty hunters after me. How about is 900? 900 is good. Yeah, you want to pull it out of the water. Yep, got to get her up on the hard, man. Actually seeing Chris, I'm not even going to be in the videos, man. <laughs> I don't need to be in the videos. <laughs> I'll do boat tours. Voiceovers, man. I don't want everybody and their mom to know me when I go places and run up to me and stuff. You know? Trying to hold on to this anonymity as long as possible. It's like, I'll be filming you walking through. I'll be wearing a face mask, glasses, and a beanie. What is a week at hotels? Yeah, some Airbnb up there. Um, well, that's the thing, Travis. I think I can stream with my phone. I've never live streamed with my phone on YouTube. So I don't have like all the custom stuff that I'm used to. So, uh, but that might be a good thing. President's mask, like point break, baby. Yeah. yeah. You're rocking your beard. Um, so yeah, we'll see, man. We'll see, you know. Because here's the thing, man. Uh, to stream the beer pong and then exactly. Yeah, on me will be there, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, you know, once I get moved back down to Fajardo and stuff. Let me show you. Let me 
Let me, let me, let me show you. Uh... Yeah, a lot of people ask about that boat. I mean, I'm gonna try to do as many boat tours as I can. Um, but here's the thing. Once I get moved, get my boat, my home marina will be here. This is the largest marina in the Caribbean. If I start plastering my face all over my Facebook, or not my Facebook, but all over YouTube, I will get harassed. Not harassed, but people will want to come up and talk to me and yada, yada, yada. Like every time I step off my boat. Um, Because that happens to like a lot of these bigger YouTubers, you know? People are hailing them on the radio and all this stuff. Um, And like, I want to keep my peace and quiet. You're going to be incognito. I'm going to try as hard as I can, man. Uh, so yeah, I think what I'm going to do is this. I think I'm just going to rock this with my shades. And I'll probably... Get a, I'll probably have a hoodie and some Chasing Latitude shirts. If you see somebody in a Chasing Latitude shirt, it's me. Uh, so yeah. Or one of these, it'll be me. Get myself some t-shirts. Get myself some neck gaiters. My shades are mirrored. I have, uh, what are these, Dan? these shades so I'll describe what I look like however I have these shades. These Smith shades that are uh, with a green mirror. So that not the blue, the green. Um, so I figure that. And then. Yeah, I'm planning my wardrobe right now. So I figure that. And then uh, this gator. I, I adjusted the size of this. I just don't know why it's not showing up yet. That gator and then just some Chasing Latitudes merch. On the inside. Normal turnaround. It's it's not long. A couple days they'll ship it out to you, Travis. Like uh, Tanks got one. Just like three or four days ago. His already shipped. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, so yeah, I do that. I go to the show, do all that filming episodes, yada, yada, yada. Then I come back. A friend of mine's coming over from Germany. They'll be here for... I don't know, a few months, I think. Be here. Then I'll head down to Vajardo, do some episodes down there with them. Maybe try to get on some boats. I fly to the USVI or something. I don't know. All a bunch of stuff. It depends heavily on my YouTube being remonetized. Just batteries, baby. You got those bad boys ordered yet or what, man? See, I told you, Travis. Walking taco, bro.
Travis, can you do it now while it's on the heart? Maybe? Yeah. Dude, you see it right there on the members area tanks. Walking taco. Uh, Learly. Learly. The walking taco. Sounds like Max Prime, yeah. Not in our high schools or stadiums. Yeah, we had this big debate on one thing. And I thought it was like some original thing. And then everybody's like, it's called a pie or a Frito pie. Some people are like, it's a walking taco. Big debate. Big debate. Troy. I must say, I'm having some inner turmoil caused by you. Troy. Some inner tur turmoil. It's your fault, though, Troy. So in turn, you are the fault of my dilemma, you know? And I think it, because of that dilemma caused by you creating this inner turmoil, it may be time to redefine the nature of our association. So there, that's all I got. But Phyllis, why? <laughs> no, because you've been, uh, you've been on the, uh, the Dexalons, you know, and I've always liked Dexalons and they offer a lot of benefits and I've been looking at a bunch because that's what you're looking for. So I've been watching the boat market and stuff, uh, and checking into a bunch of them and doing a bunch of stuff. And now I've determined I'd really like to get the 39 DS. And the unfortunate thing, Troy, is I don't think I'll ever be able to pull off the price on it. But I'm starting to really lean towards this DS thing. So that's why, Troy. So in other words, all your fault. That's all. You know? Troy's like, what are you talking about? No, not the Hunters. The you know deck salons I'm a big fan of. The Hunters I don't like, Troy, only because they're single helm. And that's like one of those at all costs non-negotiables. Yeah, I know. That's what I see. You see the inner turmoil now, Troy? Now do you see the inner turmoil? The B berth is nice. It's almost like a square berth. Two cabin, one head, 39 DS. You know? Dual cabin, or... Dual helm, 
Nice master berth, good storage locker. You know? This is all because of you. Yeah, I know. Dude, I can't help all you guys find boats because then I'm like, then I start thinking other boats that are, you know, might be an, I'm, I'm literally confusing myself helping others find boats. Very traumatic. And there's only a couple of good deck salons out there. I don't think Chris will get along with Chris. What do you mean? <laughs> Going to up my budget to get a DS. Oh, I do. My perfect boat's the Oceanus 41. I just won't be able to swing it price-wise. And then second would be the 39i. And then after that would be the Oceanus 37. Worst case, you know, 36i. Um, so in between the 39i and the 41 would be the 39ds. I can ever fit a Moody, yeah, Moody 40 DS if I had all the money. So I basically, I have a boat for every single price range from 60,000 to 150,000. That's really my problem. <laughs> and trying to figure out where in that price range I can, uh, swing it. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, I'd take a Moody over an Envy all day, every day, and six times on Sunday. Father, dude, what's your new book gonna think? She's gonna feel seriously under true. Yeah, but they come in. The problem really is the market right now, you know? 6-4 is the problem. Uh, like the 36i wouldn't work for you. The 39i would. The 41 would. Uh, the 39ds definitely would. So most of them would. You know, but that's, you're a tall man. A lot of people like, or a lot of people have been talking about the on B37 lately, 370 or whatever it is, this one. I am not nearly as big of a fan as a lot of other people. Uh, this boat, I would, I would, I personally would not get. And again, that means nothing. So. That's just my personal thing. It's got some nice features, but I don't like how they've tried to separate everything. A lot of steps, very awkward. I'm not a fan, but that's neither here nor there. Workshop thing is cool. What's going to go down? What do you mean? How do I figure? What? Get a cash in price and driver. Yeah. Boat prices should come down. Christmas. That doesn't mean they will. It means they should. You know? It's 
they tried to I, I appreciate what they're doing and it would, this boat would be fantastic for somebody that wants this kind of broken up interior uh, so it'd be great for that when you compare that to a moody 41 well I guess we'd have to compare the 40s not the 4 <laughs> Travis, I wouldn't get along with Chris, or Chris wouldn't get along with me. Or he wouldn't like me, or I wouldn't like him. Which one were you saying? What were you saying? They've done the same thing with the 40 on me. Do you think all these bull channels are hybrid? Nah. Maybe. Some of them maybe a little bit. Maybe. So you compare those Envies to like the Moody. There is uh, not much of a comparison. My humble opinion is the Moody's. Bodenamino. Nice wide open. Pretty much everything's all on one level. Huge master. Yeah. But again, it's personal preference is all, so it doesn't really mean much. It was in response to you having to hire. Oh. <laughs> true. Very true. Valid. You guys like the Envy? I know a lot of people like that boat a lot. And I don't see the allure, so I'm just I'm wondering what everybody's allure is. Is it the aluminum hole for a lot of people? Is it the way it's broke up? Ah, true, true, true. I'm tired, you know. I've been working a lot this last couple this last month, like crazy. Uh so I'm just kind of, I'm not really very bright or quick on my toes these days. I'm really wore out. That's all. Now that you've shown the Moody. See, and that's what I thought. That's what I think it is for most people. Yeah. They never have them. I have to order them on Amazon, Travis. And my most recent order is like MIA. So I've been having to buy these disgusting purple monster ones. Uh, and I've gone over town just looking for those. Talk to Amazon today. You guys are like, it's scheduled for delivery tomorrow. I'm like, dude, it hasn't even left yet. You clowns. Yeah, it says tomorrow by eight. And then when you check on tracking, it just says package. Oh, tracking hadn't updated. You absolute clown faces. Man, if this gets here tomorrow, I'm going to be super pumped. Oh, please. I'm sure glad you guys have been hanging out with me though for uh so long. Yeah. So now it says package left Amazon facility Kentucky on the first. Carrier. So it just hasn't updated. And like when I go to the UPS, it just says USPS awaiting item in Georgia on the 31st. That was eight days ago. I don't know what these idiots are doing. Uh, my cord comes. My high speed cords. So I go back to streaming 4K. Comes the 21st. Other rock stars on the 19th. E. E. 
Hmm. Oh. Why does my Amazon card say four thousand dollars? A lot of rock stars. A lot of rock stars. <laughs> Buy it again. Who's here good with computer specs? Later, tanks. Have a good one, man. Monster pie side punch flavor. Good for you. For the price, you're looking for the omni. Yeah, I think that's a big difference, the price. Is there one? Dry fit shirts. What's the price of the Envies, Cypher? Great to have you around, Chris. You'll make life more interesting. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, see, yeah, that's... Wonder What's the 40 go for, Cypher? Because the Moody's doesn't come in at 37 and it's got a 41 DS. That's a, like 500k, though. So, uh, you know, comparing that to the on V40. And I think what a lot of people like is the aluminum hull. I think that's what gets people. And that cool logo that they have. Seen one used two new. Hmm. Um, so like things I like about the Moody is everything's on one level. It's not split up like it is, except for the master and the head. But the Envy's got like the, yeah, so they're kind of similar. But Cypher, have you seen the, uh, what's the other one, Father Tech? Serious. Then there's the Sirius 40 DS, which a lot of people like. I don't like, but a lot of people also like this one. But it does have, like, the sickest feature on the planet. Where's my stupid thing here? So this is the coolest thing since sliced bread, man. At least in my opinion. This is, like, so cool. I, I'd, I'd probably buy the boat just because. Can I go inside, please? Thank you. Now there is, do you see how this is all broken up too? You got steps right there, a step up to the eating area, step down to the master, but check this out, Cypher. You probably already know about this. There is a hidden compartment underneath the seat. My dude. Look at this. It's a whole underground bat cave like if this isn't the coolest thing since sliced bread in a boat i don't know what it is yeah dude this is like a workshop man i mean they did a fin wow dude this is i think it's like the coolest thing ever like look at that oh look i've got a seat no it's not just a seat wait there's more Order now. Get your own bat cave. Right here, as you step down the stairs in your very own sailboat man cave. Now, available on Chasing Latitudes. Aisle 5. It's even got a vice. That's what I'm saying, man. 
But wait. There's more. Tools and a vice. Yeah. Uh, but what I hate about this boat. With a passion. I'm into the keel. Twin keels. The shape of this boat makes me want to slightly vomit. And then the fact that it's a single helm as well makes me want to uh, cry. So I dislike everything about the boat except that cool underwater compartment or hidden thing, whatever. That's cool, right, Cypher? I mean, that's up there too, though, like with the on V40 and the Moody 41 DS and the Sirius 40 DS. Those are all 400,000 plus vessels. That bat gave, dude. Could you imagine what you could do with that? Like, just think about what you could do with that just for being like a full blown man child. What you could do. I mean, dude, that could be all kinds of things down there. Like a normal person would just turn it into like the boat workshop. That's cool. I'm not a normal person. So I'd make it, I don't know what I'd do, but something. Pretty cool though. And that's the thing, Cypher. Everybody's got their own style, like what they like, and that's what they should get. You know, get what you think works best for you. Yeah, and like for me, like the Envy, I don't understand it, but hey. That's what I'm saying, dude. You could turn that into like the biggest man child. Ca it could be like your Lego studio. Your, uh, I don't know, something cool down there. Something super nerdy and cool. You have like a life size, not like a life size, but like a full to scale model of like the entire Caribbean. Two mass? That's where you lost me. Right there. See? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. That could be like your World of Warcraft cave, you know? The Lich King could be down there. Full size replica. You could just fully nerd out down there. And I'd be super into Something dear about the boar. <laughs> the Count of Monte Crispo. Two seat land party? That's what I'm saying, man. Oh, I, that's a, that. See, that's my. That's right up my alley. You could do like a train set, but instead of trains, have Benetos, and then like a map, like replicas of the islands, the Caribbean, and have the train set take the boats down and around the Caribbean. Like, dude. Talk about cool. I don't even care. It's <laughs> probably why I'm single, but nerd alert, aisle five. Dude, you could have like Illidan figures down there. 
World of Warcraft, Burning Crusade. You know, go with Vanilla WoW. Ah, the memes. The memes. That's what I'm saying. Gotta get back to the ASA books editor. Hey, Travis. ASA 104, the navigation part of it can get a little tricky. The 101, 103, super easy, basic. Most of it's in the book. The 104 is the tricky one with the navigation stuff. So make sure you study up on that part of it. Uh, and you'll do just fine, man. Of land navy. Okay. So many wild dreams crushed by pampers. I bet. Was there? Oh, I was. Ah, uh, wow. If I wasn't a sailor, <laughs> I would be a wow nerd. <laughs> I'd just be like some overweight dude with the computer. <laughs> With like corn dogs everywhere or something, man. The wrath of the Lich King. What patch are they on now? I need a good editing laptop, I think. My problem. So darn expensive. Best. Let me show you like these janky ass ones too. You know? I mentioned fat kid and all of a sudden Wendy's pops up as my commercial. Good job, Google. Good job. Ready left. These are all junk. <laughs> the New York Times. What a nonsense are they selling? It's all the same crap. And like, these won't. This isn't gonna add it anything. That's true, man. For a while, like when I bought my computer, they were through the roof. I was like, man, that seems rude. Uh, uh. <laughs> this dude's pretty good. Laptop for 4K video editing. You know what I'd like to do is hire that movie guy that does those movie trailer intros, you know? To do like my intro for my videos. There's a boat out there for him. One man's journey to find his dream sailboat. Like, I could totally be my intro. One man, one sailboat. Where weather and dreams collide on this episode of Chasing Latitude. <laughs> I got the voice pretty close. I mean, maybe I'll try that. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, Mac or uh, Windows, my man. I think so. I need to do. I need a script for it, Father Tech. I can't think of like the script. One man and his sailboat head off into the vast ocean to explore unknown. I don't know. I gotta come up with like a script. Something. Think you can hire those people? Yeah, you. What's that thing where you can hire like celebrities for like shoutouts? Hire celebrity for shoutout. 
There's like a app for that. Cameo. Here it is. Cameo. I, of course, don't know who any of these people are. Ooh, you can do the Game of Thrones people. Hodor. The Ice King? Oh, that's him. Uh, what in the world are they doing outside? What's that? Uh, I guess it's actors. Oh, there we go. There was a world. With Benito reign supreme. Yeah, I just need the I need the uh, script as well. In a world where Benito reign supreme, one man's journey to find the perfect sailboat. You know, <laughs> something like that might pop up in one of my episodes soon. <laughs> Trying to find that dude. That voiceover guy? In a world where wind and water collide, Benito reigns supreme. You get this dude. Just do it. Uh. I mean, imagine, like, I'm not dogging on these people, but, like, imagine going from people that were, like, you know, I think this guy was, like, on Everybody Loves Raymond to doing shout-outs for money. But, hey, man, if it pays the bills, so you can, like, hire these guys to do, like, a video intro for you. I wonder if I could, is there any cool you guys can think of for that? Who would be somebody cool to do that? Tia Carrera? Give me an actor's name that would be cool for that. Anybody? Anybody? Nobody. Is that Alf? I thought that was Alf. I was like, yeah, yeah, buddy. <laughs> Where's the most popular? Let's do Price Hadley. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what? <laughs> I don't know who these people are. Like, I know who that is. No idea who this is, or this, or this, or this, or this. I don't know who these people are. It's Freddy Krueger. Oh, I thought that was Big Papa. But I was like, I think he is gone. David Hasselhoff, dude. Is it possible that you... It's, you know, I've... It's, it's an issue. Lance Bass. Remember, imagine being like one of the biggest pop bands in the world and the band making hundreds of millions of dollars. Now you're doing shout outs. All right. Andrew Dice Clay. James Vanderbeek. The Frog Brothers? What? You can do both? You get the Haim? The Haim? No way. You can't be serious. I can't 
hear anything. That's cool. Alright. I don't know who most are either. Like Corey Haim or whatever, the 80s movie star, but that's about it. Most of these other people. I mean, we got Wayne Newton, Dog the Bounty Hunter. Wayne Newton. Like, this must just bring in a lot of money for these people. It has to, right? Or else they wouldn't be doing it. Like, Wayne Newton. He's got a lot of money, you'd think. Hey, that's the dude from uh, Lord of the Rings. Hot Bridges? Oh, I thought it was that little... right now looking at b-list actors hey it's a dude from napoleon diamond she was in chevy chase's lampoon vacation anyway i mean it's possibly easier than tv ah true Yeah, I don't know who most of those people are. I'm like, huh? Uh, events. Categories. Athletes, comedians, creators, musicians, reality TV. Below deck. What? Oh, I was like, tell me that Colin from... Oh, he is. <laughs> Parlay Revival. He will do a shout out for you. I should... <laughs> I should pay to have him do a shout out. Uh, and have the script be like, Facing Latitudes is one of the best sailing channels out there. <laughs> and then just use that. Oh, uh, That's true, man. I get it. Well, Colin probably does good, man. I bet. I'm surprised that he doesn't advertise that on his YouTube. stuff anyway what's up ladies and gents Oh, really? Where did the boat guy end up anchoring? He's in off of uh, Panama City, I think. Chris. His name's Chris. Chris.
I'm picturing them with pagers. Pager. Daddy going to eat tonight. It's like big business. I mean, I think if I was popular enough, I'd be doing shout outs for 50 bucks a pop. Heck yeah, let's go. Daddy needs a new boat. <laughs> Need lobster cash. I'm saying. Let's go. Ooh, is it time? It's time. This weekend should be the Bermuda running from the tropical storm. It should be this weekend. Coming up, preparing for hurricane nonsense. Oh, five. I don't even know when lobster season is here, man. I will look right now. October 1st, apparently. Uh. Yeah, it looks like uh, next month. I unloaded my enclosed trailer that I used when I was contracting. It's full of uh, half empty cases of nails. Oh, nice, man. Make that money. Boat comes with a barbecue pit. I can taste the grill. There you go, buddy. There you go. Uh, see, and I don't know how long this season is here. I can never find out the logistics here. Like, can I do this from shore? I gotta be a mile offshore for certain areas. Like it's all federal waters, so. man looks like they closed it for like free dive yeah I figured I was just trying to
Yeah, here you gotta do it like that. I think it's him. So generally it looks like October through March. Use of pots, traps, bottom of the lines, grill, or trammel nets is prohibited. Year round. So yeah, by hand. The tickle stick and a net. A little lasso. Hmm. Interestino. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to call it. It's been a, a nine hour stream today. So, all right, ladies and gents, thanks everybody for joining. Thank you everyone who super tipped me. I sincerely appreciate it. That's what's keeping me going these days. So I guess here shortly, we're going to find out if I'm going to be burned for another month. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, BMW Tech. So we will see. As fun as it sounds to die for lobster, I'll probably just buy it from someone. Oh, there you go. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Naughty Dog made an appearance, ladies and gentlemen. Naughty Dog. Thank you, everybody, for coming, stopping by. Tips appreciated. Everything. You're all legends, each and every one of you. Until next time, here on Chasing Latitudes. Tickle stick in a net. Yeah, buddy. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much. Uh, I'll see ya. Hopefully tomorrow we can have an exciting stream. Well, no, it won't be tomorrow. It'll take a couple of days for me to figure it out. Hopefully by this weekend, I'll have a good, good stream. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 